This episode brought to you by The Avengers, some assembly required. Hey everybody, we're watching Marvel's The Avengers, and you are listening to Marvel's Miscast Commentary. Not officially brought to you by Marvel. Welcome to Miscast Commentary's Movie Marathon. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? With two guys actually crazy enough to get this done. And I have a bow and arrow. Now here are your hosts. Language. Joe Findlay and Todd Murray. Hey everybody, welcome to Miscast Commentary. I'm Joe Findlay. Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. That's his superpower. That's right. What's yours? We are finally, we have assembled. Here we, have we are. All of the We're people there. together. We are going to see them all together. My throat is bothering me. I know so it's bad. like it's caving in. <coughs> That's exactly we finally what made it. We're not we're not at the end yet. We're nowhere near the end, but no. we've gotten to one of the major points. Yeah, this is like the the first button. And like it really felt like it was the culmination. And then you realize, oh, they're nowhere near done. We're about a third of the way through this bad boy. The hardest button to button. Yes. Jack White said that. Oh, yeah. Especially after the Hulk grows huge and his pants are super tight, man. That's got to be a way hella tight button to button. Well done. Maybe that's what he was singing about the whole time. Yep. Give it up to Jack White, who also has um, is the theme song for Conan O'Brien's uh, podcast. He is? Yeah, it's not the hardest button to button. It's some but other it's song. Whatever. But it's whatever. It's one of their tunes. Great podcast. Not quite as good as this one. Not quite. I would say it's about a 98% as you good know, as you this You can't. One. You can't get, you know. So, Sometimes you rise to the top, you know. Yeah. So get over here, Casper mattresses, and uh, hell yeah, with us. he's got uh, Casper. He's got everybody. Damn. Everybody will advertise with Conan. Damn he's it. A fucking god. All right, guys. That's it for this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> advertise uh, with us. Yeah. Just we'll advertise. Be your corporate shell. I yeah, exactly. Some cash. All of the rest of this time is just open space for advertising. Want to we'll, go to that? Uh, we'll wait. Okay, what were you <laughs> there's no, there's no, Edwards, uh, there's nobody there. We don't uh, have any. I was hoping that, that was supposed to be in. ninety minutes of just commercials looped. Yeah. Well, that but was we, supposed we to be the whole yet. podcast was just us introducing a bunch of commercials. Spatula City. <laughs> I would love to be sponsored by Spatula City. Oh, absolutely. Or Metamucil. <clears throat> Metamucil would be good. Fucking right, man. That's like the greatest product going. That and cheese. Yeah, the, the two items that are most in battle with each other. <laughs> exactly. <on this> planet. <laughs> Jeez, Metamucil. You want this? You know the circle of life goes on, man. Yeah. You know, cram the hole full of cheese and unclog it with some Metamucil and a warmed up butter knife. <laughs> yeah. HIV cocktail, dirty needles, <laughs> the whole deal. all flushed out. All flushed out. All right, guys, let us flush out a little bit more of the MCU by pressing play now. Stuff. Nice segue, flush segue, like that. So this is our first good Marvel flick through. Flick through. Is this, the, this is that. Well, we've been. This getting is the... now the Marvel. They've evolved. Yes. This is the one. Yeah. Starting directly off with, with this Tesseract. Christmas light. Starting Tesseractly off. I would love a light. So uh, Paramount still gets a look in this because uh, they are still one hundred until the end of this movie. They are producing the movie still, but they are they are part of the producing company, but they are not the distributors Whoa. anymore. Who's that? This is actually Who's kind of interesting. Is that Thanos? No, this is the other. Is his name, and the uh, other. he is yeah, and he is played by. I'll find the name. Oh yeah, this guy. Mm -hmm. And oh. this guy's working with Thanos, right? Because isn't yes. he? He is the lead, he is like the leader of the Shatari, uh, essentially. Um. Yeah, what's his deal? Why does he want to take over Earth? Well, he's doing it at the command of somebody oh, who we don't know. Who we don't know. Oh, no, whom he shall not be named. Yes, Voldemort. But, That's uh, right. But yeah, anyways, the voice that was Alex Denisoff, uh, he's Alison Hannigan's husband. And Alison Hannigan was, of course, in Buffy, directed by Joss Whedon. And she was also in How I Met Your Mother, co-starring Kobe Smulders. So this is all over the place. I Connect forgot fans. about uh, Joss Whedon doing that, mm -hmm. that show. Joss Whedon, man, he's got his hands in some classics. 
And then he did uh, the the Ultron one, and that was it, right? Yeah, as far as these movies go. So he, he had he a falling out because he said something he shouldn't have at the board meeting. Yeah. Yeah, he, he said because they were talking about Brett Ratner, and then Ooh. he was like, oh, you know what? I, I think that he shouldn't have said all that racist stuff, and they were like, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Next thing you're going to say is that Brian Singer's secret boy island is also <laughs> not good. <laughs> God, the X Men <laughs> universe is filled with some dirt bags. Oh my god, that guy's like Hollywood's biggest prever. The guy's uh, such a fucktard. He was supposed to be uh, uh, like the director of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, but he was like too busy like trying to save his ass from this whole like child pedophile ring thing coming out. Yeah, which clearly like he must have been. Thank you, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, I know. Like I... wow, like the heat's off because they really were. They were all over him. Apparently, he was. Yeah, unbelievable. Fucking Hollywood man. That's why he tried to get in with ta- Jonathan Taylor Thomas. He's like, you still look like you did when you were, when you were young. <laughs> he does. He's not in the Olsen twins anymore. They look old. Maria They're Hill. Washed up. Colby Smulders here playing Maria Hill. She's a great role in, these, uh, in she this is. MCU. She's not a huge role. Yeah, she's one of the ones that kind of lucked out, too, because she's always there. Like, remember at the end of the the last one there? Yeah. There, there she is. I'm like, there she is. I was, I was excited, too. Oh, there he is. But this was, this was my first... This was the first moment when I realized it's all coming together because they're like, okay, I've just seen the shield guys and you've seen Thor. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, okay, now I'm getting it. Well, you don't see Thor, but somebody from Thor. Buddy. Um, The interesting thing, I guess, um, originally when they were conceiving the movie and they were talking, um, Robert Downey Jr. said, he was like, I feel like because Tony started the franchise that he should be driving the movie. Right. And they kind of tried that. And then everybody agreed, uh, Robert Downey Jr. included. He's like, no, this is an ensemble. You don't. Right. No, nobody can be the official lead of this movie. there's brooding up there. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, it's NASA. NASA. He hangs out like a sting. He just hangs out on the rafters. Mm-hmm. So they essentially and purposefully left out Ant-Man and the Wasp for Hawkeye and um, Black Widow. Right. Because they wanted it to be more tied to S.H.I.E.L.D., and Ant Man and the Wasp don't do that for right. them. Right. Well, they could have made them part of Shield. You know, they change things randomly. Yeah, but it was just like they had these guys already, and it was just like it would strengthen the story they already had. Right. As opposed to try and build it from. Oh the no, they they know what they're doing. They certainly mm-hmm. know what the hell they're doing here. Plus, it probably gives it a you know a more of a human touch when we have some humans kicking around, and it's not just like mm-hmm. Superman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, yeah. like all these super ridiculous. Ugh. Don't remind me that I tried watching Justice League. Oh, God. Oh, God, it, what, it was such a Holy kick in the balls. Lord. Oh, my God, Stargate. Here comes uh, MacGyver. I was just going to say. going to step out. Richard Dean Anderson. It's and a then hell of a trip in there. And James Oh, Spader. Jesus. That thing just shit the bed. The, the catch that I have in my throat makes it look like makes me sound like I'm laughing at everything I'm saying. You should be. I'm like, <laughs> but it's just it's like, actually just him wheezing, <coughs> trying to maintain life. Look at that. It looks like a clawed hand coming. It looks like Freddy's yeah. burning hell claws. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm suffering from the post effects of bronchitis. Oh, here he is. Oh. There he is. It's a weird face because it's not a face you've, see, you've seen him make in any oh, in, he's period during right Thor. Here. Um, but yeah, he kind of also got his little Terminator moment, except he got to remain closed. Bummer. Clothed, I mean. Didn't even get to see a side cheek. I know. So he's currently holding an Infinity Stone, but there's never any mention made of it during this movie. Yeah, but he's I like. got what? Which one is that again? That is the Mind oh, Stone. Oh, that guy's dead. <clears throat> or the Mind oh, Gem, geez. depending on who you talk to. You see, can't shoot an Asgardian. See, nice try. Oh, thing, was that Agent Carter yeah. just got smoked? Yeah. No, the uh, that was Coulson. You're thinking Coulson. But, wasn't, uh, but the one thing I really... Oh, yeah, it was him, actually. Um, no, but the one thing I like about Loki, because usually bad guys like him are so weaselly and all that, but like Loki can fight only because he's as guardian. Well, he yeah. fights his bro, bro, his brother kicks his ass. Yeah, but he still has moves. Like he's like, oh, yeah, he's trained. This was like poor oh, Jeremy Renner. I know Jeremy what Renner's a fucking injuries. bummer. I was. In He'll be movie. redeemed in the next one. Yeah, <clears throat> they're gonna give him his oh, real his, moments his to shine. Ronin, his Ronin shit. He's got like yeah. a big sword in it and. How's he Ronin? He's Ronin. They How does sense of that make? Ronin was the accuser, right? No, no. It's uh, not Ronin, R-O-N-A-N. He's like Ronin, like the movie, like the car chase movie. You can't call R-O-N-I-N. the same name. They were different. They're, yeah, they're different things. And why is he a different guy? Just because he's got different moves? No, like, it's just. Be this guy? It's just like a new moniker he took. Ah. Uh, 
He's more badass. Yeah, that's what Which, it is. Well, basically, he's uh, every he's he's basically gone into death wish mode. Right. Is real. I I think really is a good way to think about it. Oh shit. Uh, oh, great line. Yep, pretty he, true. He delivers lines. Loki kicks ass. So when he's doing this as <laughs> well, oh, you know he probably would like to shyster. Uh, you know, he's clearly got the deal going with the Nameless there mm-hmm. or whoever the he's other. dealing with. He's yes. dealing with Buddy from anybody. the Chitauri and he's talking. I don't think he actually has a lot of meetings with Thanos himself. He never does, actually. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. So he's yeah. kind of like being used. But I'm telling you, he's got his own plan going on, too. He's Loki. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, he's going to try and fuck over. Uh, yeah. I don't remember any of this stuff. Just that he gets well, like ripped off. I, I feel like it's a very Sith thing. Like, yeah, this guy's the master now, but it's just until I'm ready and then yeah. I'm going to become the master. Yep. And that's what everybody thinks is going to happen. Until you turn the lightsaber on him oh. when he's unsuspecting. That was a crazy moment. Like, I knew in my heart he wasn't dead. <laughs> but, like, he was, it was Whoa. just one of those, like, it was very guttural because it was just like, he was just like, yeah, like, end this. And it was like, oh, my God, like, the biggest guy in the movie so far has been shot. I remember uh, uh, Hawkeye there, Jeremy Renner, talking about, on the in interviews and stuff afterwards that he was so disappointed because mm-hmm. they're like, you're going to be Hawkeye. And he was like, Oh fucking a now the movie comes and now yeah. you, we turned you bad. Yeah. Like what a fucking bummer. Yeah. I think given what his role actually is, like once he comes out of this, he's actually like, he's good. Yeah, of course. Like, and, and cause he's a good actor. He's a good, like his, relationship with black widow is really cool because they're like you you would almost think that that would be like the obvious like oh, we're gonna put the romance down between these two and then they throw a twist at nope, you in the she next likes Hulk cock. well and he's married so it's like and like she's basically like the aunt to his children like it's like great yeah like, that card that just reminded me of like robocop Ooh. like when they've got those gigantic guns and it just like the way it, it rips the whole car yeah. apart and it's like the matte blackness of Look at the, this. Get this, India, because like my God, does this movie ever kick its ass? Oh my God, this is still one of the best movies I've ever seen. I think. Oh, I love this movie, and like, like even when it's Civil perfect. War, when Civil War came out, I went back and watched this one, and I'm like, it depending on my mood, the, which one I think is better changes. Yeah, no, and I then, agree. I agree, and all of us, Infinity War was killer too, but this mm. one is just so perfect. I find. It's I don't know what it's rated. Do you have any ratings on it, like IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes or anything? Because like, no, man, this it was, kick fucking ass. Yeah, it, this one is like, yeah, this one is almost argument proof. Like it's basically everything you hope for. Because that was the one thing is I think that this movie was the only one that you were really building up to, like Infinity War and all these other things. It's like okay, yeah, like we've we've already done that. We've already combined everybody and done all this. But this Whoa. is the first time that something like this has ever happened. So the expectations were huge. Chain and reaction. They met it. Starting yeah. Morgan Freeman and John Wick. <laughs> That's awesome. He just is now officially in IMDb <laughs> as John Wick. Yeah. Dracula Ooh, starring John Wick. Coming down, man. <clears throat> Fucking right. Look at all this craziness. Yeah, this is how you start actually, a movie. They actually imploded NASA for this shot. All they need to make this absolutely perfect would be that shot where the whole place is coming down there. Mm-hmm. A naked lady should have ran by. Yeah, just like, ah, but ah, right in front of the camera. Exactly. Like exactly. Thanks, yeah. killing. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Titty's wiggling. So, yeah, we were talking about Joss Whedon, and we know like his ra- his regular stuff, Buffy, Firefly, Angel, Dollhouse. Oh, yeah, Firefly. But, but the things I didn't oh, know about... God. Uh, the things I didn't know about he was a writer. Well, I did know this one. He was a writer on oh. Roseanne. Oh no way! Yeah, uh, but he also was. Um, he wrote Toy Story. He wrote Alien Resurrection. He wrote Titan A.E. He's obviously creator of Agents of Shield, and he was also a script doctor for Speed, The Quick and the Dead, X Men, and Twister. Wow! So I think that we mentioned Speed when we did Speed, right? Because I I do recall that I when I heard that connection I was like I'm pretty sure we talked about that but like yeah he like he has been involved he was actually originally uh he was on the shortlist to direct uh X-Men and then he didn't uh something fell through and he ended up not doing it but he also was the one who pitched the idea for the comic story that ended up being X-Men 3. Yeah. So like like he was actually like working not like kind of as a Whoa. consultant in the comics. This this button too with this new uh, theme was really cool too cuz it's this like hit, right? I think the Avengers uh, logo uh, looked kind of cheap, but I mean like the movie's yeah. pretty huge so well, you can cheap out in your first logo though. That's fine. Well, I think it just looks cheap now because it's evolved. Right. Like it just keeps getting 
Well, I'll have to see how the special effects hold up here with all them things flying around. Mm-hmm. This the other is, ones look pretty good. Mm-hmm. This is my this is a great movie for Black Widow too, because this is like the one where you get to see her be full on Black Widow. Yeah. And before it was just a little uh oh and she's speaking Russian yeah. too. But you also have to consider too, like it's a daunting task, even though it's obviously not real, for her to have to keep up with all these superheroes, yes. right? And like, so for her to look just as badass, now just from a perspective level, for her to look just as badass as like Hulk's like jumping from building to building and all that, and she's just doing flip, yep. flippy kickies, and I'm like, that's that's something to say for her Well, no, she's the only- And how they wrote her. She's almost, you know, when you think about Batman, yeah. Batman is a human being amongst gods. Yeah. And they are scared of him. Mm-hmm. They are totally 1,000% scared of him, even though he's a human being. Yeah. And later on in this movie, when they're all exactly Hulk's jumping around, and she's down there on the ground level just kicking ass. Yeah. It's like, fucking A. It was so good. And it was nice because it's one of those, you hear about like little girls watching these movies and having, this Mainly was like. She's kicking ass. She was like the first one. Like, everybody's talking about Wonder Woman. Oh, finally we have one. No, you already had one. True. No, that's very true. She And she had, this is an ensemble, so you could say yeah. that she was, you know. Yeah. A star. She's absolutely. And she's been in, at this point now, this is she, this is her second Marvel movie that she's been in, so she's a part She's a part of it. It's not like they just inserted her, right? Are they still coming out with her movie? Uh, I heard they were talking about that for like the longest time. They have been talking about it for the longest time. I don't know where they've landed on anything at this point. I don't it. know what it would be then. Like, what would it be before, like an origin story? See, that's it would have to be because... Like, what the hell... And it would have to be because anything else would basically be the Avengers. Yeah, or in between things, she's mm-hmm. on her own private mission. Yeah, in between, and Captain America's gone, and mm-hmm. she's working uh, for Shield. Uh, yeah, exactly. So I would like to see her relationship develop with like, uh, like, because you know how she talks about this, how like you know he made uh, Hawkeye made a decision that like you know changed things and blah blah blah. So there was a p- point where he could have killed her. And didn't, and I'd like the opportunity to see that. Right. But the problem is, as time passes, these guys are getting older and older. Yes. And, but they're not old enough where you can cast somebody younger. To well, look like, what they did with Sam that. Jackson and Captain Marvel. That's fair. Just throw a little CG, you know, some makeup on there. I'm mm-hmm. sure they can do it now. Just change their hair or something, mm-hmm. I guess. She was just fucking around with these guys, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. Trying to get some info. Whoa. It was so, it Jesus, was so well Jesus, talking about concussion. Yeah. Her chronic, boom. Mm-hmm. Lita, um, Lita taught her that move. Yeah, you got it. Uh, there was a great uh, little shot because when he tips her back like over that thing, it just reminded Broken me leg. of a thing I saw. They were making a documentary for a Charlie Chaplin Criterion thing right. where he leans back and like it looks like he almost falls down like this giant hole in the middle of the library. But then it shows like this like model thing where he comes out and you see that the hole was actually just like a mat thing that was put right in front of the camera. So he was actually on flat ground. Uh, it's like neat little tricks, eh? Yeah, it was really cool. They still look cool to this day, too. Mm hmm. Oh, here we go. This is uh, Tony Stark and some whorehouse in Taiwan. That would have been amazing. Yeah. Get it's his like, bang well, on. Well, because at, at this point, you well, you know who they're getting because he just mentioned you go get the big guy, You're not Stark. You got to go get the big guy. The big but, guy. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here he is. So, Mark, doctor. So, Mark Ruffalo was actually. Um, Louis Leterrier, who directed Incredible Hulk, he was his first choice for Hulk, but he couldn't ah. get him. So he got Ed Norton. Even though back then he wanted uh, Mark yeah. Ruffalo. And then there was issues getting uh, Ed Norton for this movie. So Good. then he dropped out and said that he should... Um, he said that he should get... Um, you get, should uh, get, Mark get somebody Ruffalo. else. Well, yeah, <clears throat> no, but he he specifically said you should go get Mark Ruffalo, and then they went and got him, and he's perfect. I don't know why he th- why he I don't know how they get these these inspirations these like oh yeah kid fucking just made five bucks bro. I know. What do you mean though inspirations? No, where they see like he he didn't he just had a feeling that he would be perfect as Bruce Banner, mm-hmm. like I, as the Hulk. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they because they're uh, they are friends and really? they've probably discussed this at length. Right. So because he's kind of like, oh well, uh, what I, he's like, I was thinking about, and I would have loved to have done this or done that, and he's like, oh, I'm getting to do this. He's like, oh, that would be a, such a cool thing to play, and then it came out, and he's like, hey, you know somebody who's actually quite passionate about this, that uh, that original guy you wanted, 
<laughs> but he's a he's a great Bruce Banner. It's, Fucking a, he is. See, it's exactly this is the problem with the dual identity people. This is like the Bruce Wayne Batman thing. They are two different characters that you have to cast, right? And they have to be good in both. Right. Some people have been good at one and not the not other. Not both. And so that's hard. And he's the one who's good at both. And I know it's a CG character, but he's actually the only person who have actually who's physically played the Hulk on set every right. time. Like um. Eric Bana. Like he's and, there being him. Mm, like every other one is just a blank screen with stuff exploding all around. And then they just CG him in later. Whereas he was actually on screen doing the, like he'd go like, and like just do his flexes and stuff. He wasn't <laughs> jumping from building to building. I like that. Rawr, rawr. But um, <clears throat> he really went for it there. Yeah, but he had like all the little face markers on and was running around and doing that stuff. Whereas the other guys, they just went into like the motion capture room and did it separate from the stuff, right. from the action. So. The one thing I don't, I don't know why I don't dig mm -hmm. the fact that when he changes into the Hulk, his face looks like Mark Ruffalo. I don't know why I don't like that. See, it I don't makes, like it. I think it makes him look weird. I know. Well, the problem is, is like there is a design for the Hulk. And I think it's because he read so many Hulk comics, to be honest. With right. You. And like, so there's a design in your face in like your mind that you're looking yes. for. And you're getting something slightly different. Yeah. I had the same problem with the... Well, I like I had a problem just going between all the different Hulks because the Eric Bana Hulk had a little bit of that, but then the uh, the one in Incredible Hulk, the uh, the Ed Norton one, was a little bit different. He had a little bit of a bowl cut. Yeah, it was a little, and I was like, I don't know how. I didn't like the way he one. looked too. He was too. And he wasn't wide enough. It's and it's. He wide. was like skinny ripped. Mm -hmm. And then the Eric Bana one just kept getting bigger and bigger. I like the Eric Bana one. It was, uh, that was a good looking Hulk, man. He, like he looked good sometimes. I, I think that he looked Ooh, better. Look, look, look. She's scared as fuck right he now. Looked, She's yeah. like, holy oh, shit. absolutely. And that's like the only she gets time you find the, her scared. Is old with the Hulk. Yeah. Well, just well, and later, you, like, yeah, well, mm -hmm. why not, right? Yeah. I like how she says, like, I will persuade you. Like, no, no, you're not. Mm -hmm. Once he turns into the Hulk, it's over. Yeah. Well, I even like that little bit, too, where he's like, stop lying to me. And he's just like, I just wanted to see what you do. <laughs> like, you got Powers Booth sitting You know what I fucking absolutely, Council? I absolutely hated about that uh, Edward Norton well most of it I fucking hated that movie mm -hmm. but the scene where like he's doing some random like he's kissing a girl yeah. and his meter goes to, like his heart rate is getting too high so he's like we can't do this and then like later on in the movie he like bangs some girl yeah I was like well, the fuck like well, because he maybe that maybe one she wasn't, wasn't as hot. yeah exactly like I was Put like what the in. hell like there's Powers Booth from oh, Sin yeah, City. This group has been in multiple other uh, things in the uh, unit in the Marvel Universe. They were in an episode of uh, Agents of Shield as right. well. And it's nice that you've got like this little world council and this nice little. Uh, it's just kind of this little like dark like secret mini government kind of thing. It's like we can't talk about this. So these are the people who are assigned to be allowed to talk about this. Oh, you know, even then. Mm -hmm. That's why they're all shrouded in darkness. They could say that it wasn't them. Yeah, exactly. And it wasn't me. I could. I could, could be, be anybody. anyone. Yeah. You, you're definitely a weird out. <laughs> Devs. So uh, as oh, we here it is. About, look, look, look. Yeah, here it is. As we talked about last week, this is the yeah. Uh, yeah, last week. Uh, <laughs> this yeah, this is, is essentially the same scene. Now, it's very, it's just, if you didn't stay to the end credits, man. Yeah. Well, except that like there is just a little bit of like it extends beyond that. Oh, See, like man. they're giving him a lot of flashback, considering this movie was like right before. Well, we're, we're seeing why he's punching, man. Yeah. You know, we I, I gotta know why people reminds, punch. Reminds me of the end of any Rocky sequel, where they show or the beginning yeah. of the Rocky sequel, where they especially show the end that of the last part. Yes. Yo, just but before, boxing. like I, I lose the point here. They mm -hmm. totally planted the seeds for this banner, even right there mm -hmm. for the Hulk banner. Uh, you know, not getting along this whole thing that happened in Avengers, mm -hmm. uh, the last one. Yes. What the fuck is the name Infinity of it? War. Infinity War. Mm -hmm. And so, are you sure? Yeah. And so not. he said right there, he's like, oh, so Nick Fury wants the big guy. And she's like, no, 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 no. Because they know. They're like, don't, don't. Yeah. No, they want you. Well, they want you because you're a scientist and they well, want you for this. Of course they want the fucking yeah. Hulk. Well, they also did that. Well, well to Black Widow's credit, she does believe that the reason she's there is right. for the science. Well, that's what he even said, and, too. He's like, you and, believe everything your boss tells you? And it's like the primary. And I think at this moment, it's the primary thing. But at the same time, they would love to have him available yes. just in case. <laughs> no, that's they want the Hulk. Yeah. They, it's like now. Well, they, they know they will probably they got need. They lots of scientists. They, they know they might need the Hulk, but they also know that he's the best scientist. Yeah. So they're like, you do this until, until we Until what's-her-name comes around with and, the vibranium there. Yeah. 
Jello, Hydra secret weapon, blue Jello. Yeah, it's, it's in a it's a mold. Yeah, there's a, just a single raisin inside, and whoever eats it is poisoned. All right, what do you think they're what What's going to be the outcome with the Hulk? Because I saw these images of him in the new suit they're wearing or whatever, the new team suits. Do they come to some kind of agreement and arrangement where he's like, we'll split the time? I have no idea. You know, maybe you can come out more often than just for fighting. And Well, but there was also the fear that the Hulk would be the Hulk forever. Right. If he changed and stayed too long. And there might be, and it might almost be the Hulk protecting Banner. Going like you're dead essentially if right. I come back. So he's like, like so it's like, yeah. What does happen when uh, it's time? Oh, here he is. First time we see the man, mm-hmm. and it's a long way. And this is a part of them agreeing that this is a uh, an, an ensemble, ensemble piece because he was expecting, or his original thing was, we should probably uh, do a lot, of do Iron it all man. with me and start with me. And then it's like really like almost like what twenty five minutes. We haven't even seen him right yet. We're just seeing him right now. Yeah, 22 minutes. And 20 we're finally pretty getting... good. Here he comes, mm-hmm. Tony Stark. And they're doing well, it. Well, easy. Well, if he wouldn't have, like, said no, would they have gone that way, you think? If who would have said no? Like, if Robert Downey was like, no, I really want to stick with me being the main guy, you think they would have done it? No, it's not up to him. No, so I know. But like, so would they yeah. have kind of listened to his input and put him more, like... I think they would have tried to please him as best. They would have tried Ooh. to look for a... Um, a compromise, but I don't think that they would have just flat out bent to right to that because they're like, no, like we don't believe it works. And last I checked, it's our two hundred something million dollars. So yeah, this is the new Stark Tower. Yeah, this is they're just in the middle of powering this one and stuff. I love the I love the methods that they use to like take off his suits and stuff like that. Every room has to be a different way. So if I came into this room, it starts from the ass. Yeah. It just kind of disintegrates. This way, all these machines take it off. Well, that's what I then like. In the rec room, I angrily take it off myself. Well, Fucking that's, boot. Ah. Yeah. Well, and that's what I like the, because um, now they're doing like the nanobot kind of one, like in oh, Infinity God, War. Oh, God, yeah, well, whatever. That, well, but it's nice because I was kind of over them trying to find new ways for him to put on his suit that yeah. takes 25 seconds yeah, yeah. to put on. So it's like, you know, like the suitcase one, and he like sticks in, and it's like, and like he could be shot seven times. Oh, yeah, no, it's like, it's like hold, on, hold 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 on. Yeah. I need 15 minutes. I it's need like 15 when the, minutes. It's like when the really big Transformers start transforming. It's like, I guess I'll wait till I, <laughs> pump, till I shoot you. But, but the... Um, Woo, look at the old... Yeah. That... that uh, I know, eh? That all green diet she's got going on. Yeah. No, she, and she's probably got like a jade stone in her pussy right now. Absolutely. Yeah. It, does it count as one of the infinity stones? You'll be yes. down there for infinity. Because she's <laughs> never pleased. I know. God. If a cold play can't please her, who can? <laughs> the entire band. <laughs> so the. Uh, oh, there's Jarvis. Yeah. I love, I like hearing this now. With I, I love those phones too. I would like to have one of those. But um I, I like now going back to this and you have I've seen vision and now Whoa. you go back to hearing Jarvis. And right. Go, oh, wow, I, I remember all that. Oh, and he knows her from uh, this is awesome. Yeah. Well, cause he she's the one who's barely been talking to him the most. I like the little joke there he made because his first name's Agent. It's just a cute little joke. <laughs> but also his name was in the first movie. His a- it, name was just going to be Agent. Oh. Because like he he, he was supposed to be such a small role. Like a full they, they, up, but they probably had a good laugh behind the cameras. Or <laughs> For sure. So Zach Penn wrote this movie. He wrote Last Action Hero. He wrote the Inspector Gadget movie. Behind Enemy Lines, X-Men 2 and 3, Incredible Hulk. He wrote Ready Player One. Oh, nice. So, and he directed. I knew I knew that name somewhere. That's mm-hmm. it. And he directed the uh, documentary Ready Player One. I just can say Ready Player One again. He directed the documentary of Atari Game Over, the one where they were searching for all the ET yes. cartridges. They found them in the desert mm-hmm. next to a dead Ewok. Yeah. And Joss Whedon actually, like, he produced or something like that with a. Uh, there was another. Uh, there was a documentary about Comic Con. It's called, like, Comic Con X, uh, right. Episode 4 of Fans Hope. It was actually quite a good. Uh, documentary this is cool oh, too, there's the hulk. you get a little bit of everything and you actually see so that's the old, all we're gonna see of incredible hulk so if you want to focus oh my god she's moving to dc oh my god she's like i can't oh deal with this oh my god I'm gonna, yeah I, i'm gonna go where all the superheroes are pussies i'm going to dc <laughs> yeah where all their mothers have the same name <laughs> so Marvel. fighting them gets confusing 
that would be hilarious. Oh, that'd be hilarious if they kept going and they were like, "Who is your human mother, Aquaman?" Oh, her, name's, her name's Martha. Sex. Yeah, those really... short shorts though are really doing it for me. Yeah, I know. I agree. And she doesn't even have like the kind of like ass that I'm looking for. But it's, <laughs> but it's not one I'd reject. Oh, that Tony Stark's a jealous <laughs> man. I like the little like side like useless side story they gave for Coulson too. It's like, what about that cellist? Like she's like oh, that girl right, you're dating. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But I think like what they did too, and it was such a cool moment. I wish they wouldn't have blown it in Agents of Shield because like the the thing starts and then like at the at the end of the first scene, he kind of comes out of the shadows and he's like, Welcome to like level four or whatever it right. is, right? But like that was the reveal, but they showed that in the like the previews, so you knew he was in the show right because it would like get people's interest but it would have been way cooler if i didn't know that when i started watching the show and he came out i'm like oh my god call they always ruin that kind of shit but that brings people in yeah. too that right one, I, that one they didn't have like a choice it ruins the mystery but then you're like oh my god eyeballs yeah like when they tell you a surprise guy's coming on to wrestling and you're like oh man he could have just showed up yeah and it would be way cooler right like mm -hmm. That was like, I think the only surprise one I ever got, and it wasn't even that big of a surprise because they were rumoring it forever, was Chris Jericho's like debut. I love his fan worship here of Captain America. Eh? Oh, it's so good. But you would have to think that everybody would be like that because he was a real life superhero yeah. that just disappeared and he became, and then the man becomes myth, right? Where he's like, I heard he punched a take into space. <laughs> and then, and, right. And they also made comics about him. Like, so like the Marvel comic books of, Captain America are a part of the MCU canon that were actually created about him and stuff like that. You actually see, saw in uh, Captain America, somebody reading Captain America volume one. Right. Don't believe your own hype, Captain America. Exactly. Oh, there's always bad guys in a giant lab, labbing it up. Yeah, why can't it be like a nice high tech lab? Why does it have to be like where the Ninja know, Turtles hiding. would live in the next movie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. He's going yeah. to Blockbuster. <laughs> this guy has no legs yeah i Is he like floating what's the deal here yeah there you go i love there he is he's there he was just blocked he's a very okay i don't really touch on that guy eh? like no, no. no maybe he'll be in uh, if so you he's look, the though, leader of the chitari yeah you'll notice he has two thumbs though oh yeah that look at his hand i've never noticed that before oh, neither did i actually good eye bro yeah. you got the thumb eye that thumb eye oh he's like a cat with extra toes Look i feel him. i feel like the second one like the idea of the opposable thumb is a big deal but uh, like the what's the second one doing that the first one isn't already doing that's what i quote that's what i ask todd's like sort of playing with his nipples oh, right yeah. now the scenes get me the scenes get me hot uh, i like just the idea of just floating crap in space i know i dig it too it reminds me of like super mario galaxy or something whoa <laughs> he's got the moves oh and his yeah, his hands yeah. are fucked yeah Little uh, little confession. I never played Super Mario Galaxy. Oh my god! And now it's too late. Until, yeah, it'll, until, it'll come out on the oh, Switch. I was gonna say until oh, yeah. new classic. Comes oh, out. I can't wait until they bring that back. I don't know where it is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was in GameCube. If Galaxy was fail, on GameCube. You go to my yes. I thought Galaxy. I thought Galaxy was on Wii U. That's something. two. Oh okay. Oh no, wait. You might be right. Actually, yeah. yeah I think it was the Wii. Well, Luigi's I think it was, was the Wii. Yeah. Well, yeah, Luigi's Mansion was uh, the other one. They don't have very good dental care in space. Whoa, there goes a freaking sandworm. Yeah. It's one of the... Whoa. Uh, yeah, it's one of the um, behemoth, or not behemoth, what do they call them? I don't know. It's gone. But, uh, Tremor! I like, Snakeoid! I like, too, that he's got some... Uh, Graboid. Uh, I like that he's got some fear there too well, like that guy's seriously powerful whatever the fuck well he's these outer space dudes yeah. are like not to be fucked with yeah. man well it's also a very simple trick though to just like hey go hey this guy who always feels like he's in control and stuff like that show that he's out of control for a minute he's like a he's a little bit out of his depth i think and, and all and that and that's how you know that the people above him are not to be trusted yeah. with like he's a, like, it seems like he's a little bit yeah like it's like like i like realizing those things because i'm like i feel like if i were to try and write a script i'm learning these things as i'm watching these movies right. and like how to mold these moments and things like that but now i just have to have an idea that these moments <gasps> will fit into speaking of trading cards vintage trading cards yeah i now have in my possession i haven't mm -hmm. even looked at it i'm scared to even touch it i'll probably wear <laughs> gloves i have the entire set of dinosaurs attack 
Oh, nice. But he called me. That's awesome. And then I got a bunch of like a garbage pill kids stickers. That's awesome. Like the old school ones that came out. It was like series four. I love know, those old cards. Do you know love them. I, I used to love, we had yeah. so many of them. I liked the the horror ones. It was the Fangoria ones. I have the, the whole set of uh, Fright Flex. The Fright Flex. I have it. A little oh. binder. I, I love still, those cards, man. I still like when I see the movies and I see the spot in the movie that they took the photo for the Fright yeah, Flex. Yeah. Like in Fright Night, especially, or Pumpkinhead, or these different ones. I know the exact moment. Like this is the frame that they took. Oh, here, look at this. Oh, this is where they all meet uh, each other here for the first time. Yeah, I love this little kind of twist, too. They're like, that's oh, the, been... that's the toilet for that uh, th Star Destroyer there. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You know, the cards, they're only like this thick. There's only like that many. Really? There's not. Yeah, they fit one of those oh, plastic. I thought those you actually square... meant the physical card. Like, that was the width of one card. I was oh, like, no, oh, no, 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 no. Like, it's all of them so together. Yeah. There's only like, I don't know how many cards. It would be 50 cards or something like mm -hmm. And apparently I have all the Fright Flicks, but I think there was another series because I, I remember there being other ones. Yeah. They're huh. still pretty neat. That'd be I'll bring them over one day. They're I fucking love, awesome. I would love to see them. Yeah. That'd be a good thing to do a video on. Fucking right, it's man. This retro video. And I bought a bunch. So now I have doubles oh. of Dinosaurs Attack because I have a shit ton of Sweet. unopened with the with the gum. I cut oh. my cheek. <laughs> you could li you could probably use that to like cut Captain America's. <laughs> oh my lord! Slice his soul right out of there. Oh, oh this place is gonna get its ass fucked out with the two of these uh, beasts. It's Does Thor fight out. everybody or what? What I know he oh. fights Captain America in the forest, right? Isn't that Captain America Thor, versus Iron Man? Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man Thor get Hulk. a little bit of a scrap. Thor and Hulk have the biggest scrap. Uh, and then we gotta wait later. In the end, yeah. Colby Smulders is hot. I know she out. is. I mean, come on. Like now. Taron Killam nailed that down. How does this thing? Like, it's some about uh, being on Saturday Night Live can get you a woman. Colin Jost is dating another woman from this movie. Fucking Scarlett Johansson. Oh yeah, that's oh they're still actually going out. That they yeah. just banged backstage. Well, or that something. was the thing, but no, they're together. They've been on like red carpets together and shit like oh, that. Oh no, shit! Like good for you. Good for him. I, I saw He's a like literally that like has literally no charisma. Yeah. I saw a picture. I don't know which how is, that man's even in anything. Well, it's it's actually why he's perfect for uh, weekend update. The news because he's a news dude. Oh, he just won a bet. Yeah. I, I what was the bet again? It was uh, he he was like I like I've seen so much like nothing surprises me. He's like I bet you five bucks you're wrong. Ah. Uh, and then, he's like, oh, that's the one. You actually give him yeah. 10. Yeah, or whatever it was. Oh, great. Yeah. Why don't I just turn to the hook and tear the fuck out of this mm -hmm. place? I love you, this Agent is, Coulson. I love you. This is how I feel like when I, I feel like Bruce Banner when I come to work sometimes. I'm sitting there, what's the, what's the situation? Because I'll be coming in and I'll see people scrambling and I'm like, I'm not on duty yet. So oh, I'm just going to kind of walk around and get this. Yeah. Like, like, get the, get give the, me the vibe. I'm, let me know what's going to happen and I'll tell you how you're going to fix it. Uh, yeah, and you're not even working. And I'm not you even walk doing into just it. insanity. You're like, oh, here we fucking go. And the people who are present are perfectly capable. Now, of yeah, fixing now it I gotta do me. something. Start early. I get paid for it. That's how I felt. I remember what, like what, on 9/11 when I was I was doing radio, and I remember I was at home when it happened when like the planes hit, oh, and then fuck. I got in the car and went right there. I'm like, we've got news to report. And I'm like, what a fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> we've got new suddenly you're a newscaster we but we were we reported our asses off we were like we were we were four straight hours of like our entire like our entire day in the radio studio they uh, we were fucking destroying they changed him back good in the end i remember him throwing some arrows around oh yeah yeah end. he goes back yeah it's not the whole movie yeah so what it's the just... frig clint barton at least you got lots of screen time being a bad guy yeah well lots of screen time but look at those blue contacts but look at those baby blues I know. people who do archery in these movies always like make me black want to kind of try out archery i'm just like oh just give it a shot i yeah, love just cool weapon, the, car eh? the cards again <laughs> that seems yeah, like not cool. a, that seems like a long time if you really want to collect something <laughs> <laughs> so there's oh, sit well we see him a Big lot well. more later oh yeah sit well yeah man there Very he is, sitting later. at the old computer. He looks, he wears the shit out of a suit. Oh, you're up, Cap. Cap, you're up. That's cool, because I like they don't really have a huge plan at this point. They're just like, oh, you're, you're who we've got. So Let's just go to... check it out, yeah. Better get your ass over there. You're on mm -hmm. duty. It's like being at the fire hall. I like Which it's... one do you not want? Like, you're like, oh, fuck, I got like, oh, it's Falcon. Oh, thanks for showing up, Falcon. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. thanks fuck, for man. <laughs> I don't know because I think they've done a good job at, um, like I think they all look pretty cool. No, but they established these people 
as badasses in their own right. Like, yeah. yeah, I might not be able to do, I might not be able to be the Hulk, but I'm like, whatever. Like, Falcon's pretty cool. Well, they sell Falcon huge being like a para rescue guy and stuff like that. Like, his job is protecting other people yeah. and rescuing them and stuff. Well, and Civil War, he's got some cool shit fighting Spider Man and oh, Spider Man, like, badass. Yeah. Oh. Fucking Spider Man. That uh, Spider Man into the Spider Verse getting a lot of positive. Apparently, reviews. it's got like an A plus. I'm gonna go. I gotta go see it. I want to go. Check I, it. I thought the idea of a movie where all the Spider Man from all the different dimensions would be yeah. stupid. Yeah. But that Phil Lord yeah. and Chris Miller, whatever the fuck they their names are, they they together. certainly do. They are very good with the animated movies. Did you, do you know who the cast is? It's like yeah, Chris, there's lots of people. Chris Pine is right. Is Peter Parker. Um, John Mulaney is Spider Ham. Oh, and he wants to make uh, like a branch off. I heard or something. Yeah, yeah. they will. They absolutely will. Um, but like, I can't. I can't remember everybody else. But I was going through, and it was like a crazy. This is actually kind of a gruesome thing. There's a few moments in this that are whoa, re- that, right over his face. Yeah. Like, there's a few moments in this that are really gruesome that actually got this movie an R rating, and they actually had to cut cut it three times to get to a PG-13. Really? There's uh, this scene. Oh, that's a good piece of uh, trivia right yeah, there, bro. There's a cut. There's a three. Yeah, there's three different murders in this that were so graphic originally that they had to they had to give it an R rating, and then so they cut they cut one out. This is PG-13. Um, oh, yeah, this, this is PG-13. R, my God. Yeah, this is this is PG-13. You think but it would have made as much money if it was rated R? No, of course not. Deadpool did good. Deadpool did well, but it's but again, p- people are not bringing their kids. You need to see kids, Deadpool. exactly, and you need kids coming back again and again, oh. being like, "Holy fuck, the movie!" Yeah, and you, yeah, you need because parents don't. Well, not only that, parents don't always take their kids to the movies Woo. depending on the age of the kids. Woo-woo. Right? They're not yeah. taking thirteen year olds to the movies. The thirteen year olds are going. Can you drop me off at the movies? Yeah, and they're not going to see, and they can't go to see a rated R, or they can, they can sneak into it, but that doesn't count towards their box office. You're right. So. So like a lots of our movies, yeah. a lots of our movie going experiences did not count towards no. their box office. No. I'm telling the story again. I know we've told it before, but we'll remember when our Fred wore a cowboy. Hat yes. To sneak into yes. That's exactly what I was thinking of. We time cop river wild double yeah. feature. That's exactly. We went and saw river wild and we regretted that all the way through, but it was to get to see time cop. <laughs> and then we were, go- we were going to like, we all came out as a crowd and then we had to go back in. So we tried to stay in the crowd and we just see this cowboy hat, like about 30 feet in front of us. <laughs> And we're and like 30 feet in the air. And we're like, no, he didn't. And then he got picked out of the crowd like yeah. fucking Magneto yeah, like, the, nope. the, amongst the Jews. Yeah. In the beginning of it's X-Men. Like, no problem. And I They're was like, just hey, like, what's this? You're way underage, and kid. All, and all we had to do is just, and like, we just had to sell him out. We just had to walk right past him and just be like, sorry. <laughs> See you, buddy. This guy's all right, eh? Yeah. He was in something. This guy of, needs it. But I think he was on Seinfeld or something. Yeah. He reminds me very much of like the principal from Growing Pains, but it's not him. Oh, and of course, it's like the German guy. He's like, fuck you, buddy. Oh, of course. Oh. oh. I like that they did that, though. It's a nice little kind of. Woo! Ooh, mm-hmm. just have to imagine he missed and hit the lady next, man. He'd feel so bad. <laughs> oh, my like God. ricochet didn't hit an innocent yeah. person. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Yeah, lady. it's not a flat shield. It could have went anywhere. Oh. Uh, oh. In fairness, you never punched Hitler. True. Oh, he knows. Mm-hmm. Still. Oh, he's got Good. backup. Yeah. Black Widow style. She can take that. Beep, 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 beep. Wham. But this is a great, like, the, this is a really good uh, Iron Man moment that we get in a second, too. I think he uh, kind of heard him there with a hit. I think he was surprised. Mm-hmm. He kind of had a look that was like, whoa, yeah. like. Well, there's no reason, really, that one-on-one Loki wouldn't stand a chance. Like, he would at least stand a chance. Oh, my God. He's an Asgardian. Exactly. Oh, my God. Like, come on. Like, he might not be as strong. Like What, as say, Captain as, America? No. I Yeah. Like, I yeah, like as physically I think strong. Loki is stronger just because he's as guardian than Captain America. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like Captain I, I, Oh fuck. This this is a great moment. <laughs> I really like this cuz it's perfect for character. They changed to uh Joss Whedon insisted that they change the way that uh Iron Man flew. That's why he's got the rockets on his back uh. now because he didn't like that he always had to use his hands to fly. So he wanted his hands to be able to be free so he could shoot or he could do right. stuff with his hands if he wanted to because he felt it would be easier for acting. I'm actually not a huge fan of this Iron Man suit compared to the other ones. It's, it's a little, all right. Suit, it's a little, it looks more like a cosplay of an Iron Man suit. Yeah. Than, Maybe he had to borrow some sweet cosplay ones because he yeah. broke all, all of his. Yeah, he, he hit up Comic-Con and he's like, this ah. one works for some reason. 
It's just nanobots it still. Like this is all part of his plan, dummies. <laughs> but like they did a really good job. Like this reminds me of like picture like the most perfectly written play. Everybody gets the best entrance. It's like like you get a pretty cool like weird flashback entrance with Captain America. You get that awesome like Iron Man landing. I know Tony Stark's already been there. Right. There, but and now you're about to get your Thor opening and it's just oh, like yeah. you, know, you have that hero's welcome kind of thing. He's a saucy one. Ooh, ooh. Here comes your big bro, bro. No, he's the big brother. Yeah. It's not even his No, big he's no, he's Loki's married. the little brother. Yeah. 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 I like I like that too. I picture again, I want to make another little short where it's just a thunderstorm and he's just like, oh god, Thor's coming. Uh, and he just like hides. Oh, it's like it's just a thunderstorm. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, get your shit on people. What the fuck was that? Oh yeah, this is like right here. Oh, yeah, there's more action. Mm -hmm. You could have just stated your uh you know, your intention here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's coming with me. That's like, awesome. what the fuck just happened there? He looks a lot <laughs> he looks a lot different from uh what's it called? Uh, from the first Thor. Like, he looks a little bit older already, even though not a lot of time has passed. I don't think that he could catch up with Thor flying. I don't know. Yep. I, I like this, though. Like, this is this the that is the pure American response. Yeah, there's only one God. The, uh, He's the colonel from KFC. Yeah, exactly. I actually saw, because I, when I was in the States today... I saw somebody. This somebody, is fucking sweet. Yeah, he had a bumper sticker that said uh, it was just a gun pointing directly at me. Yeah, and it said, "Think twice, cause I don't." I'm like, "Oh, that's a good. <laughs> that's a good thing to say." That's wicked. And then my stupid ass cousin has like he had a big thing about like banning bump stocks doesn't do anything. I'm like, "You're such an idiot." <laughs> He's like, "People are still gonna murder people." I'm like, "Okay, so let's just let everybody do it then, right?" Uh, it's like people are still gonna do math. Let's get it out on the streets. That like let's... nobody believes in that shit anymore. I love they believe in is the lies. Yeah, you just see. I like this is a nice moment with him too. Eh? It's like, hey, buddy, we're we're still brothers. I love you. Give me hugs. Whoa, they, it's pretty jaded right now. Pretty dark time for Loki. They they still allow their uh their dialogue to be very kind of Shakespearean and stuff, which was nice tossing him into the abyss yeah don't you remember what you did back there bud yeah it was not good i think that uh loki should be alive in the next one and he should be played by matt damon, Matt damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. i wonder if people do that to him on the streets somebody has to have done it oh god yes he must hate it it probably happens all the time that's why he's a recluse now i feel like in when he because he just hosted saturday night live this past week I, those two uh, ravens there, that's a big deal because in the comic, uh, Odin has two ravens that are like his spies. So that was his spies going and right. on the, the comings and goings of his kids. Damn kids. Their names were Hunin and Munin, I think. I've got Cronin. Yeah, that's what I actually, no word of a lie, first, <laughs> my first thought. Okay, you know what? It's taking yeah. a long time for Iron Man Hunin. to catch up, so that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's probably also got a scan for him, too. He's like, where the hell did yeah, he land? Yeah, fuck are these guys? Thankfully, he's got stuff. Uh, I I it's another one of those silly things, but I like just the thing coming to you. Like the I can't wait to, to see him rock with the new one. Oh, yeah. With the arm the with, Groot's, with Groot's arm on it. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck, he just wailed him. Yeah, you got a little bit of it in the last movie, but... <laughs> They changed his hair or something. I'm trying to think. Who, of what, Thor? Yeah, like I'm trying yeah. to think of what about him looks different. There is something, but that's... he he does look a little older. I think maybe the darker beard or something. And they oh, and it's also they didn't dye everything blonde because like his eyebrows were blonde. Right. And stuff in the other movie. Yes, they were actually. But so. he was out in the sun. He was out in the desert the whole time. Yeah, but he's in was... New Mexico. Yeah. I love Thor. I love that he's willing oh. to shit talk him that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I do, Loki's I, up there like fuck it hey thanks metal man I like the sound <clears throat> of the hammer coming back to him it sounds like it's in reverse like I feel like what they did is they dropped a piece of metal and they recorded it and then they played it backwards 
Like, I don't know that for a fact. That's another piece of research, but that's what it sounds like. If you hear it, it has this kind of, like, you you know, when you drop something, it goes like, boom. Right. I picture it go, boom. Like, that's kind of the sound you're yeah, getting. Yeah, it's kind of like a medley yeah. kind of, a, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, yeah, this, this is, like, this is pretty neat. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. So that would, you know. But I like that it didn't like harm him. It just knocked him. It's just like, like, I think they're, I think that they're very fair to their characters about like their strengths and, uh, and stuff like that. I think that Thor gets more powerful, but the, the mm-hmm. only way that you could even, I love that. Just the trees yeah. ripping apart yeah. everywhere. The whole, that's awesome right there. Yeah. But Thor the, like, also comes into his power as like a. Right. As, as it right? goes on. But. The only there you go. Yeah. The only way you could Iron Man would even have a fighting chance would be because it yeah his power just got raised by four hundred percent and yeah. he's still like no and match it still for didn't him. Do anything. But it's another thing I like too, and I think it's a big difference because we've had this uh, debate of Thor versus Hulk yeah. multiple times yeah. through the thing. Another big difference between Thor and Hulk Whoa. is control. Like right. Thor is always in control, whereas Hulk sometimes isn't. Yeah, exactly. And well, in that, at which that works point, again. That's awesome. That, that, yeah. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> Calmer heads prevail, boys. I would have liked one of them to like that was cool, but who did? Like, yeah. was... <laughs> it's not cool when it happens to you. Yeah, but it was, it was just like, fuck off. It was like you just hit both of yeah. them, like, and then it got back to him. <laughs> you want me to drop the hammer? Oh fuck! This is a great, great shot because I was kind of at this exact moment. I'm like, what's gonna happen? And then this happened. I'm Whoa, like, like predator explosion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds just like when Jack Napier hits the ground. I was literally Batman. just going to, yeah. like, that was actually where my impression was coming from because the actual, yeah. the actual sound in predator was more like, <laughs> like okay, we just leveled the rainforest. Maybe we should stop fighting. He's like, Ooh, like he should have had like, Oh, this is a good land for like a building. <laughs> just cause you know, cause he's like a business <laughs> <laughs> he does he does he does business that's like how trump does it accidentally yeah. blows up a city and then puts a trump tower give me give me thor give me captain america we're gonna make a huge <laughs> hole he's still going forward with this like space thing and i don't know how long he's gonna be in there man his oh. lawyer dude was literally like even what like if i'm not mistaken even like the prosecutor was like do this to him and the judge was like he's getting way worse than that yeah and then he's like i'm gonna go yeah. back and deliberate for well, a week well that was it he needed yeah coo- he needed cooler heads to prevail yeah. he's like i am not f- like i'm so mad he was at you fucking right now. pissed i like, might give you the chair if I, yeah if i give yeah you he was like here. so mad and now they just found out that yeah. all the trump uh all of his charities or like his personal piggy bank, like a they lot had, of shit's coming out now. Like we already knew all the shit, yeah. but like it's basically everything we always knew is yeah. now coming out. But my favorite thing is Giuliani keeps coming out, <laughs> and he, every time he says something <laughs> within twenty four hours, yeah. he's proven to be a total liar. Yeah. Because they were talking about like some, they were talking about some specific thing, and they're like, "Oh, he didn't sign that paper. That was never his signature. It was somebody else." And then literally, like I think it was like eighteen hours later, it comes out. Yeah. He's like, "Oh, we have the document, and Trump signed it." Like yeah. it's got Trump's signature on it. And yeah. Was like, oh, blatant. Ugh. Like, yeah, nothing will happen. Still. Well, the pro- well, the problem is, well, no, they actually say like, uh, like he's not going to go to jail, but he his business is going to be decimated. Yeah. And probably one of his kids is going to go to jail. Yeah. And like because junior. Yeah, junior. Yeah, junior's kind of a junior. The Vonk is too pretty. Oh, uh, this is what he wanted. <laughs> he wanted to rip the get the Hulk going. Yeah. Don't they think they know how powerful this guy is? You think this little stupid thing's gonna hold him? Yeah, well, it's worth a shot. You have to like, right? You can't just not think of a solution, right? You're just right. Like, well, I don't think we can kill him. All right. Well, I'll kneel when he asks me. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> that just made me think of the uh, the emperor in uh, Revenge of the Sith. Unlimited power. Oh <laughs> It's going to say after a good dump. Yeah. Unlimited power. Mm-hmm. Somebody hits the floor. Shut up. Yeah. So apparently Natalie Portman was supposed to, because they make a comment very soon about uh, a Natalie oh, Portman's character. Lady. But uh, apparently she was supposed to make a uh, comment, like uh, make a little appearance in this. But they, uh, she was pregnant, so she couldn't. And right. They... Oh, she was, she was pregnant. Yeah. He, oh, yeah, he knows a lot tires. of the information, though, eh? 
an army. Space yes. dudes, bro. See? An army from outer space. This is probably what gave Trump the idea. He was, watching an ar- he was falling yeah. asleep and he heard an space army force. from outer space. He said, I'll go get you in space. <laughs> and just, and a piece of chicken falls out of his mouth. And just, But it like drags down in a slow grease trail, <laughs> yeah, like exactly. a snail trail. Of like no, and then it stops because it gets cr- trapped up in grease. other crap that came out of his mouth oh. earlier in the evening. This is one of my favorite jokes in the movie. <laughs> yeah, people do. He's adopted. <laughs> See, this was uh, this was also the best mix of humor and and serious. Yeah, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep level. Ah, uh, you fly ya. And see, I would go out of my way if I had the opportunity to, prefer, to befriend an eccentric billionaire. I would do it in a heartbeat because it's like, oh, you know what? I'd really could go for some pizza. So like, well, let's go to Italy. I'll get, I'll get you back by tonight. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Look at that. You see your what's her name? Roller eyes. Kobe Smothers. Right when he comes in, I know because she's yeah, like, oh. She, I like that he improvised a lot of this, and they let him improvise a lot. And again, it always works. So why wouldn't you, right? But that 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 man is pl- <laughs> sounds exhausting. I know that uh, that man is playing Galaga thing. He just improvised, and Joss Whedon liked it so much that he inserts the Galaga right, thing. Right, the guy. The back, like, oh, he just bugged them. Mm-hmm. I I do like though because he is one of those he's a braggart that delivers. Yeah. Because he's like, when did you back it last up. night? He's like, I'm yeah, I legitimately did. Kelvin's one point twenty one gigawatts would do it too. I think. Yeah. Who's this Kelvin? Cal- go uh, talk to Kelvin. I, isn't I it, mean, who the fuck are they even talking about? Just go talk to that guy. Isn't he the one from uh, or the the other guy from Good Burger? Oh my god, that's exactly <laughs> yeah. I think he just came out to and said, like, let's do a good burger. He's like, he has nothing going on. So yeah. he's like, yeah, Keenan, like, give me money. Yeah. Can you just buy me a good burger? I'll get oh, you a bad Oh, fuck, here he is. I love, that. I love how you turn into a big green rage monster. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. That's... He's good, though. I love, like, he's done so much with his body in this. Like, I, like the physical work that Mark Ruffalo is doing in this movie is, like, unmatched. Like, right now, just as... Um, Banner, he's just like doing these little things. Oh, this is, uh, it's actually, kind of unsure, it's kind of shuffly. <laughs> what did he say? It was the uh, he mentions the flying monkeys thing. Oh, right, he mentions that he understood. I got that one. Yeah, oh, yeah, I got that there he is. He actually didn't want to say that line because he thought it would make him look stupid. But then when he saw it, he saw it with a test audience, and like everybody roared at it because it was like it plays as hey, this is actually something I remember. Right, <laughs> like, I got the I got that reference. Yeah, yeah. So, because it was like, because Wizard of Oz may have been one of the last movies he saw. Pretty much, yeah. So, it was 1939. He oh, may have seen that. Actually, little... he was at the movies several times during the movie. So, he, so he's seen that. During ones, but, the, yes. But right. I'm sure he remembered it. Uh, mm-hmm. I like that they do, I like that they still make a lot of mention to where I, I was going to say. Great. <laughs> <laughs> So well played. I like how they make a lot of mentions towards uh, Incredible Hulk, but at the same time, I like I keep treating it like it's not part of the MCU when it is. So of course they're going to reference the movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't stop watching like Tony Stark's lines here. Uh, I know he's oh. such a turd, and he's got the best part about him is he has amazing chemistry with everybody. <laughs> and I and I think that I can't actually think of any two people who have bad chemistry in this movie. That uh, nobody does, up. but like, but anytime you put Stark with somebody, it's always like the most all star version of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the best stories that came out of this because so few times during the filming of the movie was everybody present right because you don't need to be yeah, right yeah, exactly. and so the people will be like well i'm going home for the week or whatever because i'm not needed till next week blah 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 but so there was a very short period of time where literally he offers them the chips or whatever um where they're all there and chris evans uh texted all of them the entire cast just wrote, wrote assemble and they all got together and had this gigantic like blowout party. Nice. And Clark Craig says to di- to this day, it's the best text I've ever received. Assemble. And it's just like, it just they all assembled again too to get their tattoos. Yes. That was I think I think was that going into the third or the second movie? I don't. Re- I remember that being a later story. I think it was closer to mm-hmm. Infinity War. Maybe. Oh, you know what? I think you're right. But that's cool. Like, oh, yeah. He's sucking the juice out of other blueberries. Yeah. That's one way you could definitely get a uh, 
uh, if they, you can get a uh, tattoo out of me. If I was doing something this, like when the Lord of the Rings guys all got the tattoos, you bet your ass I'd have a tattoo with them. Fucking right. But, I uh, got one. I wasn't even there. Yeah. On my ass. Mine's on my ball. It's my Left best ball. super. If any area um, on me, super, it's there. Yeah. The worst part is I lost my left ball. Now I'm desperately trying to find it. My precious. <laughs> Uh, they said that uh, apparently uh, Robert Downey Jr. was literally hiding food on the set and nobody could and like when people are supposed to clean up the set and stuff nobody can find where he was hiding the food so just in the middle of the set like him having those blueberries or whatever he would literally just reach under something and then all of a sudden have food and they're just like let's just let him go <laughs> with it like, like and he's just like and he wasn't doing it as a character thing he literally was doing that in case he was hungry while they were shooting <laughs> Like, like he was just sandwiches stashed, yeah. forgets about them. The yeah. set reeks like well, dirty old salami. I think it was just like little packaged things like that. Like right. I don't think it was like, oh yeah, I got like yeah, a granola bar under here, this over yeah. there. You know, like a half I've eaten, got a, like a half eaten Tupperware thing, a lasagna. lasagna like oh yeah. Jesus, the hell! I was gonna say it's an, an open, an open faced egg salad sandwich. <laughs> like oh god, <laughs> tuna and egg salad <laughs> sandwiches all over the fucking place. I like to, that's one thing I liked about Incredible Hulk in this is they got a lot more into the feeling of being the Hulk. Like Eric Bana just had that one scene where he's like, and you feel it's boom, boom. And that was in like the trailer and stuff right. like that. And I'm like, it's, it's a good trailer moment, but it's not really whatever. Like these guys are going like talking about how afraid they are and stuff like that, uh, that it's actually, uh, right. Like, like they're like I'm in it and I'm experiencing it and I can't do anything about it and it's terrifying he's like I'm watching people shoot me in the face and there's nothing I can do about which it which one was that one well just now he was just saying oh like, he's right like, right he's like I don't have armor he's like I'm completely exposed and he's like this is where he says I tried to put a bullet in my brain and the big guy spit it out a little bit yeah which actually was a scene in Incredible Hulk it was a deleted scene uh, where he, in the scene, it, he actually is turning into the Hulk to stop himself from doing it. Uh, but then they did the video game version, so they deleted the they deleted the scene from the movie, but the video game version still references it, and you actually see the Hulk get up, and he spits out a bullet, ah. and then the game, kind of, and then the cutscene kind of starts from there. So literally, you go into a video game where he just tried to kill himself. Nice. Good way to, mm-hmm. good way to start off a... A slapstick journey. I feel like that's how every single Grand Theft Auto should start. <laughs> One of yeah, the spitting a bullet out. So the the introduction to the character is this, in, vibranium. No, this is um, crushed up uh, pencil they, uh, lead. They talked specifically about what it was. I don't remember. Yeah, it's crushed. It's uh, it's whatever. It's the oregano that people use for fake weed. <laughs> oh, there she is. Yeah, but originally I think like he she was supposed to have like a moment where somebody said we're gonna send you off to blah blah blah. But this was actually a much easier version. Way easier. Way better. Hey, hey, remember this girl? She's not in this movie. See ya. That's basically all they needed to I do. wonder how many times he's seen her. He hasn't. Whoa. He doesn't see her. Bummer. Like, when he sees her in Thor 2, it's the first time he's seen her since Thor 1. Holy because... fuck. She's pregnant. She's got some other dude's <laughs> kid. Yeah. How do you deal with that? My axe is coming over, flies, and it's Thor. Yeah, exactly. Like, Shit. oh, for fuck. I would step aside. Oh, I'd be like, fuck this. I'd leave. See, I'd be like, I'm not fucking you. I'm only here because he's gone. Yeah. Like, I had that moment fuck. in... I had that moment in Castaway when... You, yeah, I was literally thinking the same thing when I said that, yeah. When, because, like, he comes back, and, like, I'm sitting there as the husband. I would actually have... I've, I've thought about this. I would actually have a conversation with my wife. You didn't have any... Kil- they didn't have children, as far as I know. <coughs> but I'm like, as far as I saw in the movie, they, he, she didn't have children with this other guy or anything like that. I would sit down with her and go, I will not be upset if you say you want to go over there. I right. totally understand it. I will let you take some time to make this decision, whatever you want. So to she do. just went to the parking lot and made out with him for a while in the rain. Yeah. yeah if you just want to get like, give him a couple of like uh, reunion fucks or whatever. I'll sit in the other room. <laughs> I'll uh, sit in the other room. No, you can give him some reunion fucks. No. I need to be there. Fuck that. I want to be there. <laughs> uh, if she, well, if she gets to bang Tom Hanks in the rain, then you get to bang the hot next door neighbor. Then I know I'm. Begging I, it doesn't make it any better <laughs> no. that he was gone for three years and you're I, still in love with him. Blah blah. I'm gonna be balls deep in Wilson. Yeah, <laughs> that'll <laughs> hurt him. If anything's hey. gonna hurt him, it's yeah. Hey, what's this face made of? My blood. Oh, good, good, good. And you've been just take living, that, Tom Hanks. And you've just been living out in the dirt naked for five, for five years. Tom Great. Hanks is in the room while you bang Wilson. Is that cuckolding? 
Mm-hmm. No, just like in general, Tom, actual Tom Hanks. Yeah. No, Tom and Hanks cannot cuckold you. <laughs> no. If, if anything, I feel like I'm getting the better end of the deal. <laughs> fucking right. Mm-hmm. You definitely not, don't want to be that fucking oh. soccer ball. God, they draped her properly. She's tight. Yeah. She's she doesn't got, have Agent Carter boobs or anything. I wasn't into ass enough when this first came out, but now I'm more into ass, so I appreciate I'm it. I'm more into ass. My, no, but they say that thing. They're like, as you get older, you're not so concerned about boobs, and you get more kind of into the ass and stuff like that. And I found that that, that, that balance range. has shifted. I like them all. I like it all. Oh, yeah. I'm, I don't it's never. Uh, although you're right, though. I'm really not. the uh, Even, you know, the girls that I look at. Mm-hmm. You know, dirty magazines and all these things. They don't have gigantic boobs like back in the day when all my posters were Jenny McCarthy with yeah. her big ass fake titties. Yeah. Remember when I shoplifted that Jenny McCarthy Playboy? For Fucking you? right, I do. And what did what was right my compensation? What was my compensation? What? Tell the world what you what you paid me to do that. What a frosty! Oh, that's right! Yay! <laughs> I forgot that. I thought yeah. it was that I told on you. <laughs> I thought that was your your gift. You sold was me I, out. Yeah, I, I watched you in the mirror you and I was like, oh my out. god. I remember He's that. Like, no, that was no, because there was one for the, that was when I took one from the store. I also oh, stole the Barber's Playboys. The Barber, yeah. I was like, oh my god, here he's cutting my hair, and all of a sudden I look and I can see you stuffing magazine. I think down your pants, up, up my shirt, and up then your like, shirt, and, and then, then down the pants. pants. And I was like, oh my god. I, uh, I was like, I hope this guy is like really into doing my hair here, and he doesn't look, glance into the fucking mirror. I was very good. <laughs> He and was. That, you were really good. It wasn't something you, you could be like the world's greatest thief. It wasn't something I did. Yeah, it's like I'm the Ocean's Eleven of taking Fucking a magazine. Right. I just watched that too. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know the end of that movie? Like I just saw it. Yeah. The end of the movie. Mm-hmm. Brad Pitt pulls up with uh, Julia Roberts. Yeah. And they pick up George Clooney from prison. Mm-hmm. The, the, he goes, oh, I brought something or whatever. I brought some of your belongings. Mm-hmm. And she and he opens the door. And then as he's getting into the car, Julia Roberts says, we need to get him a girlfriend, yes. referring to Brad Pitt. Yes. I'm like, what happened in the car just before they pulled in that she says that line? Yeah, he's Was pro- he hitting on her? Did she just blow him? Like, like, what just happened? That would be amazing. He's sitting there. He's, like, super desperate. He's like, will you just watch me masturbate? I haven't had Or something, yeah. And then, because I was like, why did she just say that line? He's, it's probably, he's, I, I'm guessing, because he's always so busy, and he's probably talking about the next job, or talking uh, about right, this or that. Right. And he's like, he needs a girlfriend. Oh, he, he needs to fucking right, chill out. right. I really like too. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. She, I like how well she plays him in this moment. Like, yeah, and that that was actually the moment when she makes that like oh face. I was like, oh, you're totally you mewling. You're, what do you call her? Mewling Quim. I was like, but you're right a monster. But like right, right when she did that, I'm like, I feel like she's playing him because that's not a, her afraid face. Yeah. we've already seen her afraid face. Boom, played her. Huh? He's like, what? Oh yeah, he did say what? Got it. Uh I, lo- oh, I, I love shit. that. And he's like, I'm so busted. Uh, I feel like he should be able to get out of that class. Oh, my God. Totally. Come on. He's playing him. He can. That's, he wants to I be know. there. Yeah. The only way that his well, plan will he's work been... is because he's got to keep them there together. But, yeah, but now he's been busted. Why doesn't he just break out of there and get to Hulk and like do whatever it takes to make him flip? He's still got to be there for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, he's just chilly. He's like, I'm gonna let this sort itself out. I'm gonna just take a break. Yeah, take a breather here. He's like, I don't think I don't know if you know this. I've been traveling through wormholes for the last couple of years. Wormhole. I like this too. <laughs> I'm gonna do this uh, my way. Yeah, fucking right, Rogers. Uh oh. Tesseract weapons. That is not a good. <laughs> So, um, uh, yeah, yeah. So this was, um, $220 million movie. That's what uh, it cost to make. Yeah. Whoa. And it was number one for three weeks. It beat hunger games. Uh, it's first week, uh, dark shadows. Uh, dark Sh- oh, okay, that was yeah, yeah. So like the second week, uh, dark shadows came out, but it still beat it. Then the week after that battleship and the dictator came out and it beat both of those. So they're not huge competition for them. Really? Uh, what to expect when you were expecting then, uh, MIB three came out and when it was in week four and it dropped to number two at that point. Right. Um, in the whole grand scheme of where it is, it is the highest grossing domestic and, uh, world of any of the ones it, uh, made 623 million domestic. 
uh, which is almost how double. much domestic? Six hundred twenty-three point oh. four million. Oh yeah, this movie uh, cracked a billion, didn't it? Yeah, and it actually almost doubled Iron Man's b- domestic take. Right. So that was the second highest. Wow. And then uh, Avenger, and then uh, it made one point five two billion. Which uh, it was Iron Man two was six hundred twenty three million, so it was more than double worldwide what the next highest one was. So this one basically confirmed everything. Like when Thor makes less than Iron Man two, and then Captain America makes less than Thor, they're like, like anybody else would be worried. They're like, nope. They're like, we're do- we're gonna do this, and then Avengers comes out, and it just like it makes almost as much as the other movies combined. Combined, like, Told you. probably more for God's sakes. Don't they understand that they're being fucked with? Yeah. Well, they see it. Oh, your cloaking device. Well, I like that. And I like that, too, because the idea of their cloaking device is that reverse camera thing. So it's shooting up. So as soon as they come up to its level, they'll be able it's, to see it. You can it. see it. So I like that a lot. Oh, look at the eyes. I've been know, up all night for drinking Red yeah, Bulls and You know freaking. full well he's been working on that, like, little air, like, that bow I move. would be. It was like, like he's probably sitting in his trailer doing that like crazy. He like throws out his shoulder. I'm like, I can't shoot. Well, yeah. oh, here we go. Uh, I like and I like that like he's older too. Like, uh, like he's like the older man. And he's like, I could still beat up Captain America. I don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah. Oh, what footage did he see? He watched the footage. Oh, yeah, and he, oh, later on, maybe this just might be what happens. But I also like that they have a very, like, very different um, philosophies and stuff. But I'm really on Tony's side here. He's like, you wouldn't lay down in the wire. I'd cut the wire. I'm, so, I'm, I'm, smart, <laughs> yeah. I'm smart enough to not have to do that thing that everybody would, that would make you happy. Right, exactly. I like this moment because it's very much like uh, wanted, only not bullshit. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, bullet curving bullets yes. and everything. That movie was the dumbest fucking movie. Mm-hmm. That was when, like, Angelina Jolie could do no wrong, and she was just, like, the stupidest character in the stupidest movies. Like, I'm mm-hmm. such a bad girl. Yeah. Watch me kick and be bad girl stuff. And yeah, like, that's fuck basically right it, off. Right? So, this was the first movie. They got, to- oh, he's like, you got a weird headache yeah. going on here. Yeah. This was the first ever movie to make $200 million in three days. Which is a very common thing now, but this was the first oh, movie to ever is. do it, and it tied with Avatar and Harry Potter and the uh, Deathly Hallows to be the fastest to a billion, which was nineteen days. That's been since clobbered. Oh my god, by, probably multiple times um, over. Like, well, what was like it? four other Disney movies? Uh, well, fa- I would think it was like uh, Fast and Furious Seven, Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, and uh, um, uh, Last Jedi all crushed it. Oh, Force Awakens also crushed. Oh yeah, totally. Like so. Oh, he didn't even know I was holding on to the scepter, bro. I liked that little moment. I was, he was like, I was like, what the hell? Oh fuck. <laughs> well, we found the thing we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time. I think the little reveal on him becoming the the Hulk later on too is amazing. Yeah, I'll put on the suit. I love this part. Put it on the suit. Okay. Yeah. There's. Clint Barton. Yeah, he does. He does Boom. look kind of drained. It's like it's taking it's like it Loki, out of him. That Loki evil does, spell. Loki does not let him nap. No, of course not. He's doing evil shit day and night. This was a he good moment care. too. I like that the first. Yep. <laughs> I like that the first moment of uh, Hulk is is like involuntary Hulk. I like like I think every Hulk movie should have. An involuntary Hulk and a voluntary. Oh Hulk. right, like in the end, where he's like, "Yeah, yeah. fucking, and, I'm here." And they did that in uh, Incredible Hulk, and they did that in uh, uh, in uh, Eric Bana's Hulk and stuff like that. But you have to have one where he loses control, which is what, which sh- just only doubles down his fear of turning into the Hulk. Right, and then that makes the decision really, to turn into the Hulk later right. that much By more choice. Yeah, well, more it, dangerous. Well, and it's that kind of thing. He's like, Maybe I know he doesn't have control. Oh, here we go. Here's what's her name's biggest yeah. fear. But it also it also raises the stakes of the moment that they're going through because right. he's like, I, you know, you guys all know how afraid I am of doing this, right? But I have to do it. That's right. how bad things are. I mean, I wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily need it in every story because we would know after a few no. times, okay, it's risky. You know, we no. get it. No, and, and I think, yeah, you wouldn't need it, but I think that basically they've treated everyone like a semi-reboot. 
like you're not getting the whole origin story or everything again but like you're like well i ha- i am telling my version of the hulk now your version well no but you know what i mean like probably be better than most of them that happened oh uh, if i t- if i put some real oh, thought into fuck, it i don't go. know a lot about the hulk to be honest with you like i know the basics and i mean he is a a very basic character from this kind of perspective. I know there's probably a lot more deeper stuff into the comics and stuff, but I don't know any of that stuff. I don't know if it really gets that deep with the Hulk, yeah. but like more recent, like I've yeah. heard things. Cause like now he's just always the Hulk, but he's also smart. Like he's a scientist. Yeah. That still, happened like, back in the day too. When I was yeah. reading it, he wasn't as like, he was still ultra super powerful, Yeah, but because he was Banner's brain, he wasn't as strong. Yeah. I like that moment because he's not quite all the way turned yet. He's like, it's you better run, like, lady. He was kind of being like, you better yeah. get the fuck out of here, yeah. lady. It's kind of like that moment oh, in um, fuck. The, at the beginning of uh, the uh, Return of the King. Remember when, uh, what's his face there? When uh, he's slowly turning into CG Gollum and just that last little second you have his human right. eyes before he blinks. Holy fuck, Romanoff. You better fucking move it, girl. That was really good. He's at you. Holy Jesus. I like. I actually am very pro their relationship in this world. I am too. And I and I think and I think the stuff that they dealt with in uh, Age of Ultron, I think it gets kind of overlooked, right? Because of uh, like just I I don't know, just people's kind of overall negative feelings toward the movie, which I didn't have such negative feelings towards the movie. Which one? But uh, Age of Ultron. Yeah, I didn't like but it. But it was just like, it wasn't as good. I just, that's like where I put it. I'm like, I enjoyed watching the movie. It just wasn't as good as this one. It's like the same movie. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's a Look lot this of- shitty bad guy. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. But at the same time, again, another super important cog in the puzzle because basically Civil War can't happen without that movie. Right. And as same as yeah. uh, and then Black Panther doesn't happen without Civil War. It's like it's all everything's a butterfly effect, right? Yeah. So it's like they it's have like to that have Ashton Kutcher film. But I think that maybe their mistake in that one was they decided what the story needed to be and then they plugged in a bad guy. Right. Right? Like they, they could have just used uh, Zemo. Ultron was weak sauce. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't like that you said that word. Well, <laughs> yeah. A, I think that no that, guff, bro. I I think that that was a hundo p week sauce. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Yeah, yeah. I heard somebody. Is that the new add on? Somebody at my work said a hundo p for a hundred percent, and I almost choked oh him to death. Oh my god! I almost like like whoa. I, you think I care about? Yeah, steam? exactly. What's our give you more steam? That would have been the best. You found my one weakness: steam. Steam to the eyes. Holy fuck! <laughs> Steam and Dear Abby Collins. Holy crap. That is awesome. Because I love that because, oh. like, n- absolutely, he didn't need to force himself at all through that stuff. He ran through oh, it. Oh, it was like paper. Like a, yeah, exactly. There you go. I was going to say, like, butter, but you don't all run through right. butter. All right. This was. If you have a big enough block of butter, sure you th- do. I think this was actually one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Oh, me too. I agree. Like, and, like, and you can see, I like this version of the Hulk, too, because he builds up his rage, because sometimes he doesn't have it. Right. And he's like, I'll get it madder, because I need it. But I like, because he's a true. Holy tr- shit. Yeah, and I love, I, I would like to see them shoot these scenes where there's obviously the CG. Oh. That's awesome. Where, like, you have the CG, uh, you have the CG arm, so I want to see what he's holding up, or if he's just holding oh, up. It's probably, it's probably a stick with a tennis ball at the end of it. Yeah. It's probably actually a stick and a, a, <coughs> with a picture of uh, Mark Ruffalo being mad. Yeah. That was my favorite thing about Age of Ultron. Did you ever see any of the shots of, uh, um, uh, what's his face, James Spader acting on set? No. Because he was on set and he was wearing a motion capture suit, but he had like a little thing on top of his head and then Ultron's head was on top of that so they knew where to look. Ah. Uh. So... I thought that was actually kind of brilliant. So like they didn't give the tennis ball. They're like, this is, this is what you're looking at. Like this, the you're actually going to see it. I like this moment too. It's just like, we're going to have to wait a while. He's like, where the fuck is this? Thing? It would have been even better if it um, came from, th- that was a great moment because you do, you do feel, and the, my biggest problem with Superman is his invulnerability. And I have the same problem with the Hulk. Who? Oh, he just matrixed him. Um, and then you finally see a vulnerability in him, right? You're just like, look, look, he can't pick up the hammer. Oh, uh, ripping can, his feet right through like, the damn you know, ground. Like, like Thor can get shots in on him. A good little rumble yeah. here, eh? It is great because, and I think that they realize too. They're like, we could actually do this. Yeah, 
See, this was like watching a full blown comic book movie, like for real. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Like the action scenes, like just so wicked. Yeah, absolutely. This is like a good a, a good filmmaker can pull this off. Oh, for, for sure. Two twenty mil. For sure. If this was Sony, this movie would have cost six hundred million. Oh my god. Well, that's the thing that always kills me. It's like when they talk about, Whoa. um, like when they talk about like the Fast and Furious movies. I know because so much of it's practical, and they're like destroying every car they destroy is at least a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. That like like the budget's kind of out of control. But I'm like, y you can figure out how to rein some of that shit in without just without hurting the movie. Exactly. You know I, mean? I was like, I feel like some of those could be CG cars. Nobody would know the difference. But they're like, no, we're not yep. selling out like that, man. I'm, sure, I'm like, that's not selling out. I'm sure they did the same thing like when I, you watch it, like Independence Day. Uh -huh. And they said like to make the movie cheaper, a lot of the scenes are done like way old school. And you don't even notice. Yeah. Because it's so chaotic and everything's doing You don't even notice that it was like half a cartoon right there or whatever, mm -hmm. right? Like they probably did the same thing here. Yeah. Like a smart filmmaker would be able to get away with those cheats. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's, you know, like technically. Oh, fuck. Technique is everything in filmmaking. If you can like, and that's like why Lord of the Rings works so well. Cause like so much of the stuff is cheap tricks. Like they're, they've got scenes where you've got, um, uh, <laughs> I, lo I love that. That's so I killer. absolutely love that. Cause he's still totally fine, but I just like the, yeah, you know, the it grabs crap. the guy I'm just so bad. But the, there goes um, the Hulk. yeah, but, uh, what's his face? Um, I just totally lost it. But no, uh, no, in uh, like Lord of the Rings. No, in, Lord, in Lord of the Rings, there's a scene where Billy Boyd and Ian McKellen are in the same thing together, and they didn't do the thing where one of them's green screen or they scale, or they use the scale double or something like that. Billy Boyd is just on his knees. They were just like, well, just wh why do anything different? They were at a balcony, and he's just on his knees, so it looks like he's got giant right. arms by comparison. But nobody cares because it's not, it like. Like it's in no way a distraction, it's right? Like, and you can get away with that. It's like that probably saved them like fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, that's insane, Just eh? To, like you know that what little I mean? thing, like, that little cheat. Yeah, because that would have that would have made two hundred people had to go to work for like you know like five days to put that together. To like, and it also would have like, and then you would have had essentially two crews worth of time shooting and stuff like this. I like he has well, so that's many arrows. Sweet arrow shot, eh? So I think he's missing a lot of these arrows in the other like the other ones he's basically got ex regular arrows or exploding arrows. I think though, like his line in Age of Ultron is kind of necessary where he's like, I'm a guy with a bow and arrow. Yeah. And I think that having all the arrows maybe doesn't help as much. You do not want to crash. Oh yeah, this thing. Look at that car sliding off. <laughs> oh look at her, she's all fucked up. Yeah, she looks like what's her name after they fell over the wa eight, eight waterfalls in Indiana Jones and the Crystal oh, Skull. Shit. Yeah, she is. Uh, I'm on oh, it. She snapped. Had my moment. I'm on it. Yeah, Ooh. I like and I like that she's got, like her character and she's been through so much. Like to get her, uh, like you get her. She went to that place. Ultron and yeah. yeah, right there. She was like, okay, you got to pull together, put it, put it in the vault, and keep moving. Yeah, I got lots of love. You know, for she's her. got a good vault. She must. Oh. Well, and like when again, and this is again why I think that maybe we'll think better of Ultron as we're watching all these together is like the her flashbacks and then like when she gets her fear dream and stuff like right. that, and you see all the shit that happened to her, and you're like, oh my god, like <laughs> he's just constantly still. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> You ever oh, here we go. There's a nice uh, yeah, man. We just kicks fight. ass. Yeah, because you got to give everybody their moment. The, the, well, and crazy too, like how much? Uh, oh fuck yeah! Like like how long has this action sequence been going? It's oh, been it's going a big for one. About Twenty minutes. Oh already. yeah, it's a fucking big one. Like I remember. This when is I, nothing. Yeah. Well, I remember when I heard that, like uh, in uh, Revenge of the Sith, the Ooh. one on one lightsaber fight between. Uh, um, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi and uh, Anakin Skywalker was one of the longest one on one fights like ever in film. Like it's chopped up and stuff like that, but it's still like if you put but, it all together, you know, pound it's, for an, pound. it's an intensely long fight. And like this one just has been going and going and going the entire time. Oh, they yes. are immortal for God's. Oh, here he is. Mm -hmm. oh, well, no, Asgardians, here it is. But they're not immortal. Asgardians get no, killed. No, they can die, yeah. Like well, it, as we see later on. Yeah, yeah, we see all of them die. So. <laughs> Great line. He was so good. Like, uh, huh. 
Boom. They actually, um, that was another scene that oh, got this rated man. R. Originally, you saw the thing come out his chest and like explode out blood. And so like, so that's, uh, that was another thing they had to take out to get some. Uh, it's funny some how PG-13 some movies action. are like a couple spatters of blood yeah. and it's rated R. And some movies are like blood soaked gore sex mania. And it's like, mm-hmm. fuck all. Well, I feel like those ones are still R. No, PG-13, <laughs> I feel like, depending. Yeah, may, maybe, maybe even G. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't show all that yeah. pussy. Well, G. that's the thing that kills me is like if you like with the ratings and stuff like that. If you were to do a doc, uh, show a documentary, it's exempt from uh, from a V chip. Oh right. So like you can have like you can have like pimps up, hose down. And it's exempt, <laughs> but then this is actually recommended. Because it's a like, documentary. And, yeah, and this, so that essentially is telling you anybody can watch this because it's art. Ooh. It certainly is. You lost Clint Barton. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it would have been way evil? better. It would have been way better if he's like, I'm okay now, I'm okay. And then he just starts fighting her again. Ooh. He's like, I'm just fucking with you. Oh, she beat the... Yeah. Why does this thing back? have this pod that shoots out? Oh, they said... Like, sp- crazily. Well, they said specifically they were they were having the conversation. Oh, the they were, Well, because he's like, he's like, this is an interesting cage. He's like, not built for me. He's like, built for my, something stronger than you. So they were ready to have the Hulk in this thing. And that's how they planned on trying to kill him <laughs> if they had to. I think it would... Is there any difference? What he just did there was essentially just like landing with that thing in the ground. I agree. Like what the fuck? Like, like well, it's, <laughs> it's like the, uh, the it's fuck? like the jumping in the elevator thing. Like, yeah. It's like, oh, we're fucking oh, yeah, in the yeah. elevator. If you jump at the last <laughs> second, you'll be fine. I think that works. I think that is clear yeah. and concise no, I science. Think, I think MythBusters actually tested. Yeah, they that. did. Did they? I yeah. don't know unless you can actually have a human yeah. being there. I think all that shit was bullshit. Yeah. Well, no, because they have all those like things. Boom! Where, boom! I love that. But no, they have all those. Um, what's it called? Like those like. Um, g-force meters and stuff like that so they can go they know what g-force will kill a person and if it bur- right. someone breaks that they're like well this person's definitely dead oh yeah they're still in there trying to fix yeah. the mm-hmm. you still hanging along here well, and i like how they do that because i when in civil war you see the new versions of these and stuff and it's like yeah it's star count how much fucking money do they have like geez who mm-hmm. the fuck made this thing well that's yeah that's actually what, what i'm kind of interested fuck, like because it reminds me a little bit of like when in uh independence day when they um What's it called? What may, uh, when they're saying like, where did you get all the money to like fund this place and stuff like that? I think of the exact same thing. And I just picture Judd Hirsch going, well, you don't think they spent $50 for a hammer. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like this thing looks like it costs like a trillion dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. It, it would be, oh. re- it would be reasonable to assume that this costs as much as the entire space program. In, like, yeah. The like my God, like. Like seeing what anything costs now, they get a couple of jets and it's like a billion dollars. Uh huh. Like this thing's like two football fields with like the, yeah. the world's largest propellers. They built it with cheap steel. That's why it fell oh, apart. Oh, yeah. Fuck, man. Chinese steel. Don't you kidnap me. <laughs> <coughs> that's, that's what you'll say to them, eh? Don't you, don't you kidnap me? I, I feel like there's an honor system, right? Oh, he's uh. dead. Oh, the gut. I always thought, thought I heard him say, I got rabbited. And I'm like, what does that mean? Like, does that mean like a rabbit punch? Like, yeah. So like that kind of thing? No, he said the God rabbited. It's very interesting watching these with closed captioning yeah. for the first time. But like, uh, this is yeah. kind of really egotistical, though. He's like, they all love me so much that now they'll finally come together. <laughs> it's like, that's that's thinking awful highly yeah, of yourself, it is a little isn't bit. it? That's funny. It is heartbreaking, though. And I remember being, like, legit oh, sad, sad when that happened. I was like, oh, no. The guy who had an average we'll of four, never mo- four see lines him again. per movie. Or will we? Yeah. Whoa. Tune in when we binge every episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> in one oh, night. Oh, God. Ooh, look at that. I got a little bruise on her. Yeah. I like bruised up women. Me, too. That's why I'm always bruising up my wife. Getting right. Look at her. Get over it, girl. How does, like, I don't know, like, they don't all have headphones. and I guess they were communicating with each other before. That's over the loudspeaker. Yeah. No, but I meant, like, before, like, they all did have earpieces in because they were all communicating with each other. Who the hell's everybody else? The, everybody's dead. Oh. They all got sucked out of the... Oh, thing. yeah, Thor got thrown off. I really like this moment, too. 
<laughs> blood like, on them. Like I like that. Like literally everything Fury does is bullshit. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Hey, man, that's what you got to do to run the but, show. But even more so, because I picture him going and getting them. We get, we, we, spoiler alert, they, they weren't in his jacket. But I picture him going and getting them and then rubbing, rubbing his, them in blood. his blood yeah. and then just tossing. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, man, uh, you got to do to run, fire up the team, man. He knows. Yeah. Let's just talk about gotta Chris Got to keep Hart. this fucking machine moving. Yeah. Chris Evans really like wears the shit out of that Under Armour. Yeah, he certainly does. Oh, is he wearing a Black Sabbath shirt? Oh, Tony yeah, Stark is feeling is. so hot right now. Yeah. We played a really fun prank on a guy at my work. <laughs> um, well, he's a super metal head, right? And then we were telling him that the guy who is definitely the least likely to be any kind of metal head. And he's like, oh, yeah, he's way into Because he said a very specific like subgenre of metal that I never heard of before. Like stoner doom. Like it was like it yeah. might as well have been that. Yeah. And then one of the other guys was like, Oh yeah, he totally like he listens to that kind of stuff all the time. And then he actually named off a couple of bands that like fall into that subgenre right. that I would have never known. And I'm like, ooh, good. Like now you've you've put something in. He's like, seriously? He's like, I never would have guessed. And he's like, Yeah, talk to him about it sometime. <laughs> and then but the problem is the crossover in our shifts. Right. It's very rare sometimes to see each other and then sometimes because somebody will get there early and then you get to go home a little bit early right and then so maybe you even that day you won't see so you might not see a guy for a couple of months so we've just been waiting for this trigger to be pulled and i was there and they were both there and i'm like he's probably forgotten about it and i'm literally packing up my stuff and then he goes oh yeah so you listen to and he like brought up a couple of bands and like trevor's like what are you talking about and he's like oh i thought you did <laughs> and then he just and i just start laughing and he just but he never like called me out like oh you assholes like, right that's what we were waiting for right because it wasn't a meme. Like, we no, it was just like, it was just a funny, you know, oh, mm-hmm. geez, there is naked. This is, to me, the weirdest cameo I've ever seen in a movie. Wait, who we'll, is this again? Wait, just wait for it when it comes. But, uh, keep, I like the, it's fucking Harry hey, Dean Stanton. Hey, sweet. Now, there's been, uh, cute, there's been wonder as to one of the reasons why they got him. Because his last lines when he's in Red Dawn is to just constantly go, avenge me, avenge me. Those were his last lines in the mm-hmm. movie. So people think that maybe they like just kind of as a jokey joke brought him in with, like, with that in mind. But so, then also he asked if he was an alien, and he was an alien. So where's his pants? Uh, gravity ripped them off. Yeah, like because when he got huge and was running after Mrs. Romanovsky, there yeah. his, he had his big ass pants on. At least he should still have gigantic pants wrapped around him, right? Or not wrapped yeah. around, him, but on him. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Like it's such a good moment. Like I, I feel like that should have been. <laughs> like I feel like that should have been like the Stan Lee right appearance. I'm, I agree. I'm glad it wasn't. I'm glad they got an actor. But this also weirds me out too, because stylistically, it's like no other part of the movie. Yeah, I know. It's like what the fuck. Like this is what it looks like when you come down off that evil high. Yes. These guys in like de- they're detoxing. Them. Or if you do half an ecstasy pill. Exactly. I want to be which that I guy. did before this. I want to be that guy. I want to be. Yeah, I know you've been rubbing my balls for this entire movie. <laughs> and I, and be, and it feels Am I nice, rubbing so your I balls like, or your balls rubbing me? I called Carrie out when we recorded the um, uh, a Christmas story episode. I just kept saying, "Are you fingering my butt right now?" <laughs> she she was oh, thrilled. She yes, was thrilled she by that. Oh yeah. See, exactly. There's so much. Like, there's so much backstory between them, and I guess Joss Whedon wrote a big backstory on them and stuff like that, and then there was just kind of like, he put all that work into it, and then they d- he doesn't really get any use out of, out of it. Right. Well, you know, it's good to have these back things, though. It works better for your characters. Well, and especially because you know you're moving forward. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I'm not dying in this movie. I'm going to be in Avengers yeah. 2. Yeah, and it just helps with your character, getting your character, to, even writing for a character, I yeah. would think if you thought of their backstory and everything. You know, that's what you're supposed to do as an actor, right? In the scene, like where am I, where was I before? Mm-hmm. Or like, I love that little moment where he just asked how many, uh, how many agents he killed. Like what a human moment. He's finally just realized, Oh my God, like probably what, just killed a what, shit ton of people. Have, what have I done? Oh, he's definitely responsible for the death of it. Like here, at least a dozen people. And then he killed other people on the way to, uh, like when they escaped too. He killed people going to the store to go do laundry. He was evil. He's just, he, he's just bow and arrow. Oh, and yeah. Fuck. Just like when you see him in the next one here, <laughs> he turns around. He, he's, he's aged by five years. But I tell you, every time I used to have to go to the laundromat, 
I was the exact same way. If I was alone in the laundromat, I'm like, so help me God, if one person comes in, I'm going to murder them and use them <laughs> to block the door. I know, it's terrifying. It was... I'm, I'm, I was in a laundromat recently, like last yeah. week. I don't... Like, I'm never afraid in being in there. Like, it's like, oh, God. I am terrified. It's like something's going to happen. I just want the place to myself. Look at his greased up vein arms. Yeah, I know, eh? He's like, show that vein off. Got to do a couple of sets before the scene to get my veins pumping out. I wonder if that's why she becomes blonde later. She no longer has red in her ledger. She keeps talking about having red in her ledger. Oh, yeah. Maybe she blonded it out. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, they're all getting to their sad posts. Go to your post and be sad. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, Break down. Everybody's got their uh, their depression corners. <laughs> I, I like <laughs> Coulson goes over, he dips uh, he, he dips his finger in the blood and like rubs it on his gums like like cocaine. <laughs> yeah, Col- Coulson, you mean. <laughs> I loved him. Yeah, well, he, in, he dips it in Coulson's You mean, blood. yeah, yeah. Why would Iron I say? Man. Oh. He, he said d- Coulson walks over and dips his finger in Coulson's blood. It was a lot of Coulson talking. It was weird. <laughs> It's fine. It's, fine. <laughs> it's starting to get late and it's starting to show. But um, whoa, I like that too. Like I, I, so much. Like when you put all these guys together for the first time, and then you have you have to reconcile all of their characters. It's like it seems like something that would be almost silly to have to do. It's like right. oh, I, well, this is how I think about things. Well, this is how I think about things. But it's 100% necessary because for them to work together in this high stakes like us against the world kind of thing, every like every little piece has to fall into place. Yep. So like they have to be like I'm not a fucking soldier, man. I do what I do cuz it has to be done. Like <laughs> Now they're onto it, boys. <laughs> it's figured. Now you're onto it. <laughs> oh, I love the giant building guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Trump. I've been, uh, I've been, like, I was talking about it before. <laughs> I've been rewatching uh, 30 Rock and I've been finding so many references that are so prevalent now that weren't then. Right. Jack Donaghy saying that we need to make America great again. No. Um, That's funny Tra- that he plays Trump too all the time. Tracy Morgan potentially losing a lot of money because he hit somebody with his vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, fucked. And then there was an oh shit, there was another one from a previous episode. But it was stuff that like lines up perfect. Oh, they keep talking about Cosby. And I'm like, oh, this co- these Cosby references really aged well. And I was like talking about Dr. Cosby being like a leader among the black people. Oh and my like lord. That. I love 30. I need to go through that show. I really <coughs> like that show. <clears throat> Here we go. They're suiting up. Oh, I like he's There's getting because he's been bare there. arms for the whole time. I just realized that he's getting his arm armor right now, or his armor. Ar- I was, yep, damn right. I like that. Oh, that's bottom floor. I like that they play, uh, Captain America as old still, even though like he's still really in his thirties or whatever he is because he had, he didn't live all that time. But he's like talking to people. He's talking to a guy who's essentially his age. He's like son. Yeah, and I like I like that he's like I'm eighty. You know that. Even though not technically odd. Yeah. And I like that they're really pissed off with Nick Fury, too. Mm-hmm. And I like that he wanted that to be the case. He's yeah. like, they're not going to do this because I told them to. They're going to have to do it on their own. He's fucking smart, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, geez. But I like suits that his suit's ginchy. still broken. So originally, the Oscorp building was supposed to be in the skyline from Spider-Man. Oh, he gets a new one right here, though. Yeah. But yeah, in Spider-Man, he was supposed to... Uh, or like they, they actually contacted sony and got the rights to use the oscorp building so you could see it in the, the skyline as oh, like oh uh, you can uh, no you you can't because it was oh. by the time they secured the rights it was too late oh they had already shot all the skyline scenes and all that kind of stuff so it was like the universe i feel like he was almost this crazy in, uh, oh lord th- th- that just reset him too holy fuck but uh Could knock to the head i lo- I like that he takes on damage, though, and I like that it's not always the same suit getting repaired. He's like, I can afford as many suits as I yeah. need. He's like, just throw this one in the garbage. Like oh, here you go, the Mark suit. 7. Yeah. Skip the spinning rims, baby. Mm-hmm. And I go. like that he's playing it's gotta it has got to make a neat thing here, a mm-hmm. neat entrance, eh? Yeah, and I like that he's playing it up the whole time, too. Like, even, like, he's putting on his, like, wristy things or whatever while he's talking to him, and, like, but he's, he's got him distracted. He has no idea what's going on. Oh, Loki okay, knows what's up. Uh, I do. I like that little. It's like kind of a little Western like standoff. Yes. Moment, like as they're coming around. Uh-huh. I'm planning to threaten you. <laughs> and you know, Loki likes a good scene. 
Oh. You know, so he he looked at him and he's like, okay, I got to come around the other way and we're gonna have our moment. Oh yeah, he could have just ran that way and just walked with him while he was he while he taking was in the his gear of off or he, whatever. Yeah, he, he could have blown his freaking heart He likes it good, out. you know. Uh, uh, the old Chicharis. Have we heard or seen anything from the Chicharis? Chicken the Chinese, the Chinese chicken. Since next like a time or. Yeah, is, is this the only time we see them? Um, you see one of the giant things in Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's any further mention. We'll forget the Chitauri's at some other point in time. I feel like this should have been the original trailer where he pitches those and you just see like a clip of each pers- of each character. Oh, this is cool. Mm-hmm. We're going to avenge them. He seems a little more. I don't know if he's more pale in this one or if they've done something. His lips look purple or who uh, 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 Loki? Loki? Yeah, like they've changed him just slightly. But again, it's been like a while and he's been through a lot. So it's like maybe he's went goth and he's like, I'm just gonna put a little lip liner on just to. Well, he seems in a dark place. Come yes. on. Yeah, he's not wearing less green. He's, or black. he's been listening to a lot of Scandinavian black metal. <laughs> On the recital, <laughs> the, uh, That's exactly Scar- a line from a CD. You might get sued. Stellan Skarsgård uh, introduced him to it. I like when they did that because Stellan Skarsgård was oh, in. Fuck. Uh, he was in um, uh. Entourage, and they were playing. Uh, and there's a scene like he's a crazy like Werner Herzog type director, and he starts running down this hallway, and they start playing Du Hast while he's running. It's like, <laughs> and I was like, it works so. Perfectly. What was he trying to do there? Uh, he was trying to like corrupt change. him. Yeah, he was trying to corrupt him, but, but it's, he, uh, he's got no heart. There's there. an he's electromagnetic a... thing blocking his heart. Oh, uh, mama! I would like to think that he would probably be not, at least knocked unconscious. Holy shit! That thing better get there, man, because he's yeah. falling. I like this thing too. It's like barcode scanners. It's a neat again. Again, these are neat invention Is things. This like a guy's job at Marvel to think of different ways that the suit comes on. Oh, no doubt. Oh, he just melted the crowd. That's there what I go. was just going to say. Like, at least, like, one of their hair should have been singed off by that. And that's the next bad guy. Yeah. I was standing on the street. You burned my eyebrows yeah, and my hair off. That's uh, cross, uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, crossbones or Crossbones. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. I used you burned my hair. face. Oh, shit. Here they come. I like the idea that they've been sitting there in the middle of space waiting for this portal. For a over. portal to open like, up. He's like, how long have you been here? Three years. <laughs> Tell my wife like, I'm they, not coming over a while. They promised me. No, I feel like the Chitari are the couple of people were literally Holy every one of them is a soldier. Fuck. I like what they've like this these uh like chariot kind of things they invented for them are really cool. This is, in my opinion, one of the best action scenes ever made. It is again, it's perfect because it goes all over the place. I wanted them to redo that Ooh. and they and they sort of do in um What's it called in Age of Ultron when they're fighting all the Ultrons and stuff like that? But what I wanted them to do is maybe redo the style a little bit. Uh, that I think it was that bridge was the same bridge that uh, they use in Men in Black where Jade jumps off the bridge and lands on the bus underneath. Right. Um, but anyways, the um, I wanted them to do like a little trick in uh, in Age of Ultron where like they'd be focused on one guy but then like another guy would kind of pass into focus and then right, they would follow, they would that, follow guy, that guy and then, they do like, that here a little bit but not as much like I, I pictured when it a, falls Iron Man around yeah I pictured a style a little bit more right of like like these zooms and these like crazy things that you need to use like CG for like that takes you all through the city so you can see right. the scope of the battle I don't it must be really hard to be accurate with throwing yourself around with a hammer because like because he landed, it's not like he threw himself to that spot. He threw himself up and then landed there. So that, like he had to aim for that, right? Oh, yes. But again, like now, and he's got oh. cool, and he's got cool moves. Apparently, um, uh, Robert Downey Jr. asked for the A in the Stark sign, and they and they wouldn't give it to him. And then he ended up getting it as a as a birthday present. <laughs> like the the production manager of the movie right. gave it to him. Wait, he done. wanted a big A in there. Yeah, he wanted he wanted the Avengers A. And oh, in Stark. Like yeah, in, from from the Stark they want. But I like this is why New York is a really cool like setting for these kind of action scenes because it's so tightly packed, and like they have to utilize that. Especially like Iron Ooh. Man has to utilize that because he's got to maneuver all over the place, right? Oh, these guys are all over the damn place. Mm-hmm. 
How are you going to kill all of them? One of them might have creeped into a store and just hide now. It's like, well, it's just, it was, and that was kind of the one thing I really liked about the uh, Ultron thing is you have to kill literally every single one of them or they win. Yeah. Because he could just restart They're this entire Ultron. army yeah. in a matter of minutes. Like, yeah. <laughs> like Negan. They are all Ultron. The Negan. Negan. Good fist to cuff action here. Yes. Yeah. Let's be very clear, everybody. I said Negan. Oh what? Yeah, don't like turn uh. up your t- turn up your volume. I don't. <laughs> oh, want I don't, any, I don't, I don't want agree with that. Then no, no. Yeah, Negan, <laughs> gross. Holy juice! Yeah, I, I do like that gravel that sound of the rocks ripping up there, the concrete. Oh, I love, neat. and it, like it doesn't get a lot of love, uh, like when you're just watching a movie. But sound design, again, when you start really watching it with a discerning. Uh, and stuff like that and listening with a discerning ear like the sound design and all these little art direction things are just like so out of this world cool Uh oh this guy took his time to get there what happens if you fall from above that because like from above it you didn't see the hole there so if you fell would you just fall through the hole probably like that's what i'm saying i love this (laughs) that's what i'm saying yeah whoa i love those things because they're like they're just like again they're the sandworms except they've put armor on them right they shoot so, out so and like, they shoot out bad guys yeah, it's, holy fuck yeah. it's, they're the original gremlins it's when you feed them after midnight this is how they reproduce oh, let me help you with that paperwork well, really when you get them wet is the gremlins rule but it can be different for chitar <laughs> it certainly can it certainly can that's how scripts work Look at this big fucker mm-hmm. flying around man remember mm-hmm. the state of the theater watching this i was just like oh, holy shit so good so good. I'm so glad now I've gotten my wife enough into these that she'll come and see them with me. Because oh, that's like, awesome. Mm-hmm. I'd take my girlfriend anyways. Yeah, I'd force her. She was awake for uh, Infinity War. Yeah. She liked it. Yeah. She was like, wow, that was a good, a mm-hmm. good, I was like, fucking right, it was lady. Yeah. Carrie doesn't usually fall asleep during the movie. She falls asleep during a lot of things. She fell asleep during a Mike Birbiglia one-man show because she was like six months pregnant and she was so worn out. Like she was so. Why tired. is that something you could never fall asleep during? Well, no. Mark Berbiglia. Mike Berbiglia. Yeah, whatever. But um, he's on Broadway right now doing yeah, another sure show is. called the new one. But um, he like no, he's really was his good. Last with, one called the old one. Yeah. Oh. No. Um. He. Um. No. He's really good, and she likes him a lot, and we were excited to go. But like by the oh, time. Oh, like live. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I thought you were like, you're watching it on no, no, TV no. or something. No, she falls asleep watching everything on TV. <laughs> At least she was snoring. No, we were in we were in the theater, <laughs> but like it was a late show. And she was so tired, and I looked over, and she had, like, dozed off. And then the exact same thing happened during Stephen Whoa. Wright. We saw Stephen Wright live. Oh, that's right. The exact same thing. Live. That's how, like, well, Stephen Wright, come on. I yeah. think even Stephen Wright fell asleep during Stephen yeah, Wright. Yeah, I was going to say, he's a lo- he, yeah. his voice is a lull, so that's a little different. That's a sweet blow-up scene mm-hmm. there, man. So I think, I, I feel like Chris Tucker would get her through, because he's screaming at you the entire time. <laughs> 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 yeah, right? Did I nail it? That's my least yes. favorite line in the entire movie. It would be my genuine like, can, pleasure. Can you Captain, it would be my genuine pleasure. I'm like, you, so many things you could have said, and that's what you chose to say. Oh, yeah. Like, Joss Whedon, I'm going to give you eight more minutes to just think of something else. Anything else. Like, you got it would have been better. <laughs> no way. Yeah. He likes Cap. He likes him, but. Everybody likes Cap, but Tony Stark, because he's how, jealous. How do you not like Cap, right? Well, and that's what. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I like about. Um, Kind like, of I, I like up. about Civil War. Like they everybody had their things. And some people were taking sides because of the people. Like Spider Man was on Cap was on Tony Stark's side because he wa- he likes Tony he was Stark. lied to though. Tony Stark's lied to him. Yeah, a little bit. Spider Man didn't have all the info going into that. Mm-hmm. He rocked them too. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's so, Buddy. So that the dude on the yeah, the dude on the left is from a lot of Joss Whedon stuff. He was in Dollhouse. He's made appearances in like Buffy and all that stuff. But the guy on the right is Robert Clohesse, who was in Oz and he's in like uh Blue Bloods and all these different things. But yeah, he was in Oz for like three seasons or something like that. He was awesome. Everybody who's in Oz is awesome. Why well, should though. I take orders from you? Good enough. Mm-hmm. It would be my genuine pleasure, Cap. They <laughs> oh, should use the line you, again. <laughs> that's just what you say to him. It's to make him feel comfortable. It's just something they used to say to each other in the 40s. you damn right. Yeah. That guy had his own show, I think, where he played yeah. exactly the same guy. Yeah. In exactly the same I situation. Don't know. The oh, only... buddy. Oh, you got his attention all right there, yeah. bud. The, the oh. only yeah. hot. Yeah, I know. Oh, they hot were boiled, just how I don't like them. See, unlike... <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I, see, unlike... um. 
uh, Man of Steel, you actually Ooh. see a lot of the people survive the carnage in this. Like the people, it's like, oh, stuff's getting like falling. And that like, well, no, the but way. they're saving people. You know, there's going to be casualties, yeah. but they're saving no. a lot of people. Man Not of Steel Superman. was just like, dear God, an entire city with everyone in it was just leveled. Not, yeah, so, so, yeah, Man of Steel oh, was 911 yeah. 911s. Like it was just. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that math there. Yeah, I know. It's pretty good. I don't want to find out how many that is total. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah who doesn't? I like, um, I like too because he he just did it there, but I always like when they use the the arrow that's like a as a, like a hand weapon. Oh, another great! Oh, uh, here Jeez, we go, a, buddy! But what a funny little yeah. thing! Yeah, just got this little scooter room here. This is it. Hey guys, I've been driving here for hours. It would have actually even been funnier almost if during all of this, every now and again, you just saw he was on the road, like he was on like oh the, right, people he, flying past him, and he's like, oh fuck! He was on like the Jersey Tunnel or in the Jersey Tunnel. He's just like. Eh. Oh fuck! Here we go. I like oh that. yeah, this is like the best scene. <laughs> and and now you even get uh like uh she gets a part. She gets a nice joke too. I don't see how that's a party. You haven't been to any parties, yeah. girl. St- well, Stark is actually a very like that building's actually very uh, prevalent in the city. Oh, oh, see, this <laughs> this is a great line. Yeah, it's too. cool, man. I'm always angry. Uh, I like that because like, oh, I could, yeah. and, and I like that because I could turn into him whenever the fuck I please. <laughs> it's just look at that. Ah, uh, flips like watching, right up in the air. And I like watching all of the uh, stuff blow away too. Like you can see, the, oh, you can there's see, some skin oh, under there or something. I was there's just some flesh. Say, well, because yeah, they're just there's an armor covering. Ooh. Them, but if you notice the way the armor is built, which I don't think I've ever noticed before, it's actually like grafted into their skin. There's big metal things that are uh. digging in. So when a piece of the armor, best oh, shot here it in is, movie, here it is, yeah, so good. Um, but you could see when the one piece of armor was coming off, it was peeling his skin off, and I was like, oh, so they're kind of like goosebumps. torturing these poor guys. Yeah, that love is it. Insane. Let's touch them. Yeah, oh, we're, we're bumping. Rubbing bumps. Woo. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, here felt, comes another biggie. That felt a million times weirder than I thought it would. I know it was kind of odd. I do like I like that like raising the stakes. Like there's one floating around me, like, oh Jesus. Like, oh now here's all of them. Like all back there getting mm-hmm. all hooked out. I like that too, because he's not sitting there just calmly. He's like, ah, ah, what the hell? He's like, he's not on coke, and everybody else is like just came out of like a Buddhist church. Better clench up Legolas. I love that. <laughs> You gotta listen to Cat Baby. He knows what's up. Yeah. Well, and I like that they did that too because just like they were talking about Tony Stark being the lead and stuff like that, uh, he could, they could have easily made him the leader of the Avengers just based on like the the movie franchise. They're like, stuff. Hulk, just get crazy. Yeah. You just, you, <laughs> no, no discernible plan. Just do your thing, bro. Yeah. I feel I feel like if I tell you how to do, if I tell you yeah. something specific to do, you're not gonna do it anyways. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, <laughs> we got hit in the air there. Yeah. Uh, He's like, fuck her. I like this, too. Use that lightning, bitch. Oh, yeah. Lots of power, eh? Fucking mm-hmm. right. I can't remember. He his, almost yeah. came close to killing fucking uh, Thanos with one hit. Oh, man. He just you know, Close ain't good enough, but, you know, fuck. Uh, I like and he, that I still, I still can't get over that shot where he breaks through the whole power of the glove. Yeah. All the rings firing at him. He comes right through it and yeah. smokes him with Stormbringer. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Bring her to it. Whoa. Oh, he just leveled one. That's one and one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of the people get a chance to do that in this one because I know Iron Man does one in a bit too. Look at that crusty old eye hole. Now, I totally understand the sentiment about what's about to happen because, like, the World Council's talking about nuking New York. <laughs> I love the blight. <laughs> They can't bank worth love a the, damn. Yeah, I love the blind spot, too. That's what I like about him, though. He actually, because, again, like, they always talk about how useless he is, but he's, they he's given, not useless at no, all. No, but that, no, but I'm talking, like, in the comics and stuff. Oh. When you compare, you're like, here's a guy with a bow and arrow versus the Hulk versus all these other guys. But, like, in this movie and in this scene specifically, like, he's his worth is being pro- totally perfect. Oh, hella. He's, he's up on a perch. He's given everybody... The, the download of what's going on. Yeah, he's a and on top man. of that, he's Boom. just taking Pete. Like, he's literally not missing a shot. He's just bam, bam, bam. How many bam. arrows has he got, for Christ's sakes? That's th- that's a problem. That's something we I never Yeah, like, like, he never, you know. Yeah. Well, I didn't I, see him fire them all off, but. No. no, but, like, a quiver only holds so many. Oh, shit. Let's, let's max out at 25. I love that. Fucking right <laughs> on. Just, just the tooth. <laughs> just, 
just drive them. This actually, it sort of reminds me of, of Reese this morning or not this morning. We were, we were home. It was just before supper. He's sitting there and every time he likes to call our dog, Leia, he'll go, Leia, 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 Leia. And she'll jump up and start like licking his face and stuff. He'll lay down on the couch. But this time he goes, Leia, 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 fight me. (laughs) And he just, and he just gets down to the ground. He's like, ah. (laughs) And my dog is a three pound chihuahua. So it was insane. (laughs) She has been getting saucy with me lately too. He has been. But Riso, he has been extra special. Like he told Carrie to rob me the other day. He's sitting there. She was like, uh, she had to go to the uh, the library and she had forgotten to return a book. She's like, I might have to pay a little uh, late fee. And he's like, You don't have any money. And he's like, What do you mean? Where'd all the money go? And she's like, Daddy has all the money. And he's like, Well, what am I going to do? And she's like, You'll have to steal. And he goes, Steal the money from Daddy. <laughs> steal the money from Daddy. <laughs> and I'm like, He's three, and I'm just getting the best shit out of him. Uh, <laughs> it's so good steal it you don't yeah. have any money you're a girl just, just, yeah, that's that's all the money. Clear. well i think it's because when oh, yeah. like like when i'm off with him i will go do the shopping and stuff so the only person he ever sees spend money is me is you yeah oh jeez oh. this thing keeps going See, this was a good yeah and again yeah, it's yeah. just this does have a lot of action in it like i would say Holy look, that's a great Boom. shot i think that and was off he goes comic. This, that this was a cool one. Like, this is along the lines of what I was oh. talking about. But I just, like, I almost wanted to stylize it a bit more. Perfect. Ugh. That was really cool. Oh. <laughs> that was, yeah. See, there you go. Here's all your stuff. Yeah, you this, is, this is along the lines of what I was looking for. Yeah, but I, th- I, I think I just wanted to maybe enhance it more to show that the battle was happening more around Oh, that's the so killer. Boom. Oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I wonder if that's uh, the Toronto one or if that's really. No. They always use Toronto. No, they Union shot. As... Yeah, no, they shot this. I don't think they shot any of this in Toronto, to be honest. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and he's got, he had a little weird, like. He was, <laughs> no, he gets like a. <laughs> yeah. He gets like snuffs, you know? Yeah. Stuffs a booger yeah. up or something. Oh, he got knocked out good. What's, uh, not, not again. I, I, I did Lying the exact the same thing in building. Goodwill Hunting. Yeah. Well, the army's out there yeah. fighting monsters. Yeah, I don't know if you remember that part in Goodwill Hunting when he opens the alien gate, and then uh, and then Will has to figure out the math to close it. In a poem. A, I got to do a fucking math over here with a fucking. <laughs> you fucking hard on. You fucking. <laughs> oh, speaking you of fucking hard on. Speaking of Goodwill Hunting, uh, Matt Damon when he was on Saturday Night Live, oh. he did he did uh, a Goodwill Hunting sketch, but it was all about um, it was about the uh, the shitty ornaments that go on the back of the tree. Right. And, hey, there's what's her name? Yeah, from uh, Growing Pains. Yeah. But uh, I, I, Ashley Johnson is her name. <clears throat> but um, the uh, but yeah, he was there and he was a uh, a promotional. Oh. Yeah, he was a he was a promotional ornament for Goodwill Hunting that the studios gave out. So he's got like the blonde hair and he's like standing in this <laughs> thing. And then he goes and he's like, well, "You think you've got a bad?" He's like, "I've got like." He's like, "I have a 16 year old battery in this thing." He check this out. How do you like room apples? <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was actually oh, really good, fuck. but but he was nailing like exactly the the Southie Boston accent that he was doing and thing. I know that's where he's from, but like it was right. It was just funny to see and for him to like, oh yeah, I'll rep- I'll reprise a role from a billion years ago. And then he's sitting there and he's like, you may and he's like, you may have uh, you may have told me if that I was gonna win an Oscar and be in like all these Jason Bourne movies. It's like I wouldn't. I, he's like, I he's like, I might have believed you, but if you told me that me and Ben Affleck would still would still be washing cars this like <laughs> at, at this time, it's like I would have believed that too. <laughs> oh, where's hot? Oh, I thought he was gonna. Oh, they were driving up there. The hell are you here? I never understand. I've seen people with that on before, yeah. but like that strap around their arm for archers. I don't know what that does. Like, is it like an arm brace kind of thing? Like, keeps the muscles from twitching? Or I think there's a tick in my leg. There better not be a tick in your leg. If you brought ticks oh, into my home, I'm gonna be really upset. Ticks. Oh jeez, I don't know what I scraped my leg on there. Uh, pretty, oh shit! Here he this is. This is fantastic. This scene just keeps going. This makes me. Wasn't laugh. there a story about how? Uh, <laughs> what? Where where Joss Whedon essentially was like the movie was done, mm-hmm. but he was like, "There's not enough action in the last scene," so they just filmed some random 
like vignettes of action to throw into here. Um, I they did do some reshoots. I don't know specifically what and what scenes were added and what <laughs> and what were done in post and stuff like that. But the um, uh, but like I like they did the shawarma scene after the fact, right? But uh, I just thought like in the <coughs> end where they kind of were they. I don't mean like reshoots, yeah. but like you know he was just kind of like you know watching the 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 whatever mm. you call it the yeah. That the day, dailies. the dailies, but yeah. they think, okay, we're pretty much done. He watches, he's like, it's not done yet. You know, I'm it's sure like, th- there needs to be more action. I'm sure that little bits were conceived and stuff like that. But again, I think like, a lot of that may have been like post doable. Like, oh, we can just do this and we right. can CGM and we don't have to like get anybody to reshoot and stuff like that. Um, they did a thing with uh, Loki there because when he gets Whoa. when he gets scooped up by Hulk. He's got like a rope attached to his leg, like a cable attached to his leg to pull him up, like uh, like on set. So what they did is he knew he was going to get pulled up, but they didn't tell him exactly when during his dialogue. So they gave him a long piece of dialogue to say, and then they just randomly yanked him uh, so that he wouldn't know when, when to, it was so, coming. That's a good idea, actually. So he wouldn't go like, you are all beneath me. <laughs> like, he's like, just waiting. That's so awesome and gross. Oh, yeah. Right in his butthole. <laughs> oh, but what I like is despite like you've you've seen them kill so many of those guys and they're still losing. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, they're getting like, pretty close. Oh, yeah. he's out. There you go. But it would be like watching like a baseball, like a highlights of a baseball game. You see the Blue Jays hit like 16 home runs in a row, but then you look and you see they're down 30 to 16. Oh. Like that's kind of what's happening right now. Yeah, they're, they're coming back. They're coming back, kids here. Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet. I like this, too. Like, how happy would you be with getting an action shot? I know. Like that, eh? Just like, wee. The only one arrow he's got left is the. Mm-hmm. Well, man, buildings are being crumbled down, it's but nobody's so, in here. They've no. all been evacuated, I it's guess, also, by now, right? Yeah. It's also so easy to break glass in these movies. Have you ever noticed that? Like, I, th- I thought the same thing in Die Hard, too. Do you know what would happen when he tried to swing through that glass? He would have slammed up against it, let go of the rope, and fall into his death. Holy because, fuck. I love that. Like, just. They're just getting overtaken. I don't mm-hmm. think they're going to win this one, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the last movie in the thing. It's got one faster than I thought it was going to. Could you imagine? And then the end of the movie is just Loki is just Emperor of Earth. Uh-oh, who's this rogue birdie? Mm-hmm. I got a rogue birdie for you, girl. I like this, too. There's... <laughs> And like these are this kind of like backdoor willingness kind of things. Like he's literally willing to kill some of his own soldiers to stop them from killing everybody else. He's like, I am. Oh, because he was going to shoot the nuclear bomb or whatever, yeah. right? Which is also maybe Drop not the nuclear. Uh... I, I don't know how safe it is to shoot a to sh- shoot an RPG at a thing that thing has a, a nuclear nuke, bomb. But... It has to be armed. Yeah, I yeah, but I, that whole thing. I know that, that's the only thing I re- reason I know any oh, the of that government is broken is, arrow. The uh, government is overtake. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a fucking awesome movie. We'll get there. Yeah, so the government is taken over here now. Fury's no longer, so they're they're trying yeah. to shoot a holy fuck. They're getting wasted here. Yeah. Boo! Get off! Get off! Oh fuck! They're getting overrun here, man. Mm-hmm. Well, the Hulk's gonna come back. Come on now. That's no, fine. Those guys shooting at the Hulk. They ain't gonna do fuck all. You find him. This is the first time Hulk says actual words. He's like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I know he just did the puny god. Yeah. I like that they gave him a word or like a, like a, like a mini line. I oh, love. Have you ever seen? Too. Have you ever seen the outtake of that when they throw the weapons to them like that? No. Oh, and oh. it's just a, they both sort of catch it and then they bobble them for a couple seconds. Right. And it just it takes all the hero out of it. Oh. Calvin Ware's getting pretty fucking beat up, man. Mm-hmm. He should have done something with the hammer. Oh, fuck yeah. Threw, see? Not bulletproof. Um, well, he should have done a thing where he threw the hammer and it went through one of the giant things. And then he goes to pull it back and then he misses it. And like he let, lets it keep going past. And then it goes through another one of the things. Like he's yo-yoing it through. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like back and forth. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. And then, and then just he, like, he's doing it. And just like last second, he pulls his hand out like, uh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Sticks. Stakes, baby. Oh, man. They've never been higher. Yeah, well, not yet. Oh, yeah, I mean, I've space. never been higher. Yeah, well, uh, still rubbing my balls, guys. Just <laughs> keep it track. He hasn't stopped me. Could you imagine, say you weren't, like, you've, you're not privy to the news right now. You've been just out and about. You're, like, sitting uh, at a park, and all of a sudden you just look over. You're in Jersey, and you look over into, uh, uh, into Manhattan, and you just see a giant hole in the sky. What the fuck is happening over there? <laughs> How many calls has he had to do like th- this one to Pepper? 
She must be in so every time he calls, she's like, "Oh God, is this the speech?" She's just he's eye sacrificing himself again. Like, come on! You said this at the poker have, game last week. Yeah. <laughs> Here he comes. Hey, there's a chance I may not come back. <laughs> okay. Again. Great. great. Uh, me, I think I might mean it this time. Mm-hmm. That was the only thing. Oh, he's bleeding. Yeah. That was look like. Yeah. That was the only thing, and I like that. I like a little vulnerability. Vulnerability. The um, the whole like, and I know that like purists of the common they're like that wouldn't happen to him and all that. I'm like, but it makes it better. It makes it you afraid for him that yeah. something could theoretically happen to yep. him. It's better when they're vulnerable. It sucks yeah. when they're. And the only so way they you... say there's a problem writing for Superman because it's like, what yeah. the fuck do you do? Well, and then that's the thing, and then it's like, oh, well, we got to give him kryptonite. I'm like, oh, great. Here we go. Here's the kryptonite. All right, cool. We're doing that again, right? What do you think of this, motherfucker? It's a nuclear fucking bomb. Boom. Take that, you pieces of space shit. Another little piece you of floating them. space turds. I'm weirded out because they're not droids. Yeah, they're, well, they're still, but like, so they're still being controlled. Yeah, like it's like a hive mind or something, yeah, maybe. Or I don't something. Know. That's what I think. Yeah. Or they're probably so evil, they're like, we'll control them. And if we can't, mm-hmm. then fuck them. Yeah, it's we have basically the same way they've like grafted their armor yeah. to those guys' skin. It's... They were probably taken. They were probably taken over. Yeah, like the Sith. They're probably that, that, that's a cool backstory. Maybe that they never touched upon well, the Chitari are a taken people. They're, they're slaves. Yeah, exactly. I'm down with that. Yeah, we just wrote it. I think we just did. Well, okay. Everybody, change your credits. Story, <laughs> story by, jo- by Todd the, Murray and Joe. You know, you know that Kevin Feige is listening. He's gonna be like, we fucked up. Yeah. They're going to do a whole movie Marvel restart. Yeah. And then we're going to have to watch all those fucking ones too. Kevin, watch these. Listen to our episode. Oh, nice I catch. This. this actual, this yell thing that he does here was improvised as well. They were like, we got to do something that is going to like resuscitate him. And they're like, what if we just yell at him? Yeah, he did the whole sacrifice yourself for the team there, bad. Yeah. And that was like one thing that bothered me. ripped his whole face like, off. I know. There, what if he accidentally did? What if it's also <laughs> oh, attached to him? But they, um, because like right when he's like, you're never the man to make the sacrifice. I'm like, oh, I guess he's going to be the man to make yeah. the sacrifice then. I like, this is just such a good, funny little thing. They're sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. He's got chest hair and stuff, which what I kind of like too. That would be scary. <laughs> <laughs> And I would have liked um, Scar. I was gonna say Scarlet Witch, uh, Black Widow to come up, and then he's like, "Well, maybe not nobody." <laughs> All right, yay! He improvised this a little bit too. Again, <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, right near your house, actually, there's two shawarma places that are right across the street from each other, and the one's called the Shawarma Hut, and they used to, and they used to have shawarma spelt wrong on their sign. Awesome! It was shawarma with an e. They don't even know. And then, but they've moved across the street, and now they. Where is the shawarma hut? It's right on Hartzell Road. Yeah, okay, I know where it is. I've seen yeah. it. It's right near the laundromat I that just I went drove, to. I just drove past it today. But. I like shawarma. Do you know after this movie came out, like shawarma sales went up by like six hundred percent or something? Of eh? course. Well, because everybody wanted to try it at the very least, right? I feel like that would have been a scene where, like, in like in Pirates of the Caribbean, parlay. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, even as the bad guy, even as like their enemies, I'd kind of have a laugh at that. I'm like, oh, he's clever enough. Right. I'll give it that. An extraterrestrial. This is what Trump wants to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Watch watch someday, years down the line, aliens will attack him. Like, I told you we could have Space Force. Let him build his space wall. I like these. Uh, I wonder where a lot of these came from. Like, I wonder, did they make that guy just get his, like, or was that actual footage of a guy getting a Captain America tattoo? And like, uh, yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Is this where Stanley is? Where was Stanley? Yeah. Right there right. he is. Yeah. I was like, he's got to be in here oh, because yeah. he, we haven't seen him. Hey, it's the dad from 90210. Oh my God. Uh, I'm glad, I'm glad they used him well. Oh, I just saw a thing on TMZ TV where they were the all 90s. together because they're trying to pitch yeah. it to Netflix and Hulu and because they want to come back. Well, no, they want to. Ugh. Every fucking show wants to come back. Oh, now there she is. Let's bring back Growing Pains. What if they actually got Leonardo DiCaprio to say, "Let's do a season of a Growing Pains reunion"? 
I always said it and I say it before, I think that Black Widow and Captain America were the VIPs of that whole thing. They were on ground level. Yeah. They could die. They were in the Nobody moment. in that whole thing was killing the Hulk or Thor. There was never No. You know? They might well you never they know because right, they are from space. They were in So danger. you never know. Their yeah. space shit might be I like that he had Tesseract tongs. He's like, nobody's touching this clip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I he's never, got that thing on that guy was wearing from uh, yeah. Mad Max. I like I like that little thing. It's just like, oh, we're just going to shit talk him in front of him. <laughs> I don't understand necessarily why he is, uh, why his mouth is covered. It's not like he can say spells or something like that. I just don't want to listen to him. Yeah. Uh, I, lo- I like that, the way they pair off. And it's just like, hey, you're coming home with me, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah okay. fucking right it was. On both sides, I baby. Really, well, and I like everything that they built into it, too. Like, I liked what, uh, uh, what's his face? Like, what Thor says. He's like, you know, this. you guys showed that you're, like, ready for a higher level of war now. And, like, this kind of stuff. You're now a danger to people. So you yep. have and. And it just gets crazier from there, which is why. Oh, oh, there's a guy in a sling. I was kind of looking around for injuries because I was like, but like everybody's been through a lot. Called everybody back. Yeah. Oh. He's got a Bluetooth in. Oh, Goldie she's so smolder. She is beautiful. smolderingly pretty. Oh. I like, I cannot get oh, enough of uh, from uh, How I Met Your Mother, her Robin Sparkles stuff, because she plays a Canadian. Uh, former pop star and like nobody knew that about her and right then you find out and then like <laughs> like she, she was, was only big in canada she was or basically the tiffany of canada right and she had like a song about going to the mall oh you can see the quinjet in the building so you can see that they're planning to make this the avengers building yep the avengers tower i like they've got a lot of paint that's the real that's the one thing they need a lot of like i feel Oh, and just the A. Just the A. I thought the A went flying off. No, that was like the the R and K went off. Uh, whoa, oh, what a movie. So good. It holds up still, man. Like, so Oh, man, well. here we go. No, 12 I, minutes of pre- I'm standing up. Yeah, I'm that's fucking fine. fucking leaving. <laughs> yeah, just bring your mic with you so we can hear you. I, will fucking hear you. I like this really close up, oh. like macro shots of the thing. Oh. No, bring your mic. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're up here now. There you go. Your foot up. They move. Oh, yeah, John Favreau's name was in there. Yeah, he's an executive producer. He was offered the chance to direct this. I'm glad he didn't. Yeah. Well, he may have not done a bad job. Like, I don't... But I don't think he's time, up to the level of action that this movie required. Uh, who knows? He's by Alan Silvestri fucking yeah. right on. I love Woo! close-ups of things. We only got 47 movies to go, baby. Yeah. We're, we're, the, we're almost there. We're over the hump. No, <laughs> we're not at all. I think over the hump is maybe two. Avengers 2. Yeah. That's like over the hump. Well, there's like there's twenty two movies. Dear God, are we even gonna make so, it? Yeah, we're gonna make it. We're gonna have we're to. We're gonna make it. We do have to double up more than once. Grab onto something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucker! Sorry. Please about don't that. break everything. Oh, it's already broken. For Just, fuck's I sakes. know. Well, no, actually, it didn't make it, any it, noise. It fixed up. It entire... fixed it up. Yeah. Anybody who's been listening to the last we couple of episodes, we've been having issues with our. Uh, with our machines here make us some money here so we can get some real shit going on send us money clap 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 (coughs) nick fury oh so good oh yeah i can't remember what the scene is in this one i think it's loki or something there's two there's two scenes there's one at the end of this like thing i think we talked about that you know why they have to do this twice where you show like all the main people in the credits why? twice because uh by uh union oh. laws they have to show their <laughs> like they they were originally required to show their names like there's supposed to be credits at the beginning and the end for the main cast right okay let's we'll get into that in a second uh so now you 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 now basically the entire idea the entire plan for the mcu is revealed basically in this scene which is goddamn brilliant oh that's buddy Mm -hmm. there he is i like that because i guessed who this was before he turned but like it was just kind of like to see it actually happen i was like oh no here he is so good 
Now he, they've changed him considerably, mm, but he still looks nah. like he looks like Thanos. He looks like Thanos. On. This is a great song that they added for this. Uh, thing Soundgarden, too, yeah. buddy. Um, but anyways, yeah. So to go back to the credit thing, uh, you used to have you were required to put credits at the beginning and the end of right. movies for the main cast. Oh, and so if above, you don't put them at the beginning, then you have to do double whammy. At yes. The end. So well, and that became and that actually came from Empire. We talked about it during Empire Strikes Back because he. They allowed him to not put credits at the beginning for the first one because they're like, this thing's just a shit movie right. or whatever. But then when it was a big deal, they didn't, they weren't going to let him do it. So they're like, well, I'm going to do it anyways. So the unions find him like crazy, him and Erman Kirshner. So then they, uh, so he paid both of their fines and he's like, I don't give a shit. And then he basically, I don't give a shit. And then he left the whole union system because they were like, you're being very unreasonable about this. So, so now, base, and then basically after all that happened, they let him, uh, like, this is the compromise that came because nobody wants the credits at the beginning anymore. It's such a friggin' drag to, like, oh, we gotta watch. Oh, I remember saying, like, total recall. Mm -hmm. Like, my God, like, the credits in the Demolition beginning, Man like, is yeah, bad like, too. jeez. Demolition Man. That's when like they, you know, some of these movies where the movie's like 78 yeah. minutes, are like, okay, let's friggin' bulk it up with the credits here. Yeah. Yeah. This is I a forgot really about this tune. I had this on my phone for yeah, a really long time. Yeah, fucking a. That's when they came back, and I was like, "Fucking right, Soundgarden's back, mm -hmm. man." Yeah. The interesting thing, though, is uh, Thanos being like at the head of all of this was just Joss Whedon's idea. Like, this was not that was not a Disney plan, or like a Marvel plan. Right. It was just they like just, well, like he just brought it to Marvel, and he's like, "What if you find out that this is all Thanos, and that like everything is going towards Thanos?" And they're like. Sounds good. Sounds cool. Check something we don't have to think about later, yeah. I guess. So that was really Check cool. and mark. Check and mark. But uh yeah, this is when the credits get extra crazy oh long. Oh my god, right? I know. Like this is where it begins. You're like, holy fuck. But this is really a movie that should never have worked. Like to for all the to make all the pieces fit into place. This is like getting a one hundred piece puzzle. That is made of eight different puzzles. Yeah. And then still making a picture out of it. And it still works. Yeah, exactly. Right. So it's like, ooh, Jeff. Because you got Howard. smart people working there, man. Yeah, people they, that know movies, and they know stories. More yeah. than they know movies, they know stories. Yes. And they know they, how to tell a proper story. Well, and that was the thing, and we've talked about it before, but that was the thing that excited me about um the new Transformers movies. It looks good. Well, well, no, oh, this is no, one. this predates Bumblebee. Like I'm talking the actual story of, um, like the the all the Transformers movies that like the Last Night and stuff was a part of this because they were like everybody's getting together and they're going to plan out the big picture. And I'm like, that's what you need when you're making a when you are intentionally making a long series. Yeah, you need to know where you're like coming up. I always said the same thing about TV shows. If you don't know how the last episode's supposed to end, don't make the first episode. Because you should I don't know if a lot of them actually think about that kind of thing. A lot of them don't, but then you will, the ones that you're like re, like really into, you find out like uh, a really good example is Breaking Bad. They were like, this we this has been the plan the whole time. The whole time. They didn't like, ratings didn't start dropping and then say, oh, this is going to be our final right. season. They're like, this is going to be our final fuck. season because it ends after this. Yeah. The story's done. It's done. Well, that's like so, more like British TV where they'll just yeah. come at you with one season. That's it. <laughs> but then and, you get a show, you know, whatever, where yeah. they just like, you've been renewed for five yeah. seasons. And they're like, oh, well, well, we'll just keep writing. And it's funny because I suggested years ago, I'd say almost 10 years ago, I'm like, they need to do more. You can draw in more talent if you said, we're going to make a limited series. That's going to be like eight to twelve yeah. episodes. We're not you're you're not going to get locked into a ten year contract. You're going to come in. You're going to do something. It's going to be on TV and people are going to love it because again, it's got a beginning to end. We, yeah. We're telling an entire story, but without the restrictions of a movie where they're going to tell you to cut a, a half hour of a three hour movie yeah, out, which is out. a considerable chunk. That would be like cutting like if you did one season of TV, that would be like them An saying you have episode. to cut five no five episodes. Oh. They're like, you're just going to have to figure out what five episodes don't matter to your story. <laughs> what? Like, yeah, like so what? that's like, uh, yeah, so that's crazy. So, and then sure enough, now you're getting that. Like uh, Tom Hiddleston and Hugh Laurie did that uh, one for AMC just a little while ago. And uh, now you're seeing all the ones that they're doing for the Disney streaming thing, like all the Maniac. Marvel ones. I'm going to watch that actually. 
I don't know how long it's supposed to last, but there's one called Miracle Workers coming out. Uh, it stars Steve Buscemi as God and Daniel Radcliffe as an angel. Oh, that's and, what it is. Yeah. That's the and, one where I saw it was a TV yeah. show comedy yeah. and it had Daniel Radcliffe yeah. in it. And um, yeah, it, I saw a scene today of it, actually. Uh, Yerma Taconi from the... Uh, um, from the Lonely Island directed the um, pilot. Oh, no shit. And uh, yeah, there's a scene and uh, Steve Buscemi, he's sitting there and he's like all burnt out. He looks kind of like the dude and he's sitting there and he's talking to who, who, I'm, who I'm assuming is his assistant and he's like, you know how long it's been since somebody sacrificed a ram for me? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, but I thought that grossed you out. And he's like, yeah, but still, it was nice to be thought about. Like. <laughs> right. And then like you have this, uh, and then you have like this kind of overzealous like i'm my job's to answer prayers i'm daniel radcliffe kind of thing right so i'm really looking forward to seeing what that can be but i don't know i'm assuming it's going to be a limited series because they're both kind of big right so daniel radcliffe yeah, you never know though yeah, yeah you never know that you never like, know that tv money is pretty good now man it's good but at the same time it's, it's too not, much shit on out there now man there's but, too much stuff but also none of them care so much about the money for those things it's the time it's like i can't go do the other right. things i want to do so this shawarma oh, thing here was, it is. was done after the fact now you're going to notice only one person not eating off to the side that's uh, captain america and he's covering his face it's because he was shooting Snowpiercer when they shot he had this a beard. Scene. He well, he cut his hair and he got a beard, so they threw a wig on him. But he has to cover. So what they did is they got a prosthetic face to put over his beard, and it looked so bad, so he just covered it up. Oh, that works. He's tired. Yeah, they're all just chilling, eating shawarma. Uh, brilliant man, <laughs> just brilliant. <laughs> and like I remember, That's so killer. <laughs> See, a big thing to me are the reactions that you hear in theater. Because there's not a lot of movies, like uh, the Star Wars movies and a couple of the Marvel movies and a few other things, like people have actually stood up and clapped. I know in L.A. it's a pretty big thing. Like people will really get in. Like crowds will really get in the movie and stuff. They'll they'll cheer at like the entrance of a person and stuff. And I'm way into that. But that was one of those moments that got such a huge laugh. At yes. the end of the movie, everybody was waiting, and then that happened. Everyone was like, "Yes!" The people like, that, that stayed. Yeah, I remember and being a Black Panther, being like, "Well, don't go." There's like, haven't you? Is yeah. this like your first Marvel movie for mm-hmm. fuck's sakes? Like, where are you going? I like, heard, I heard a good story one time. I think it, they were talking about like uh, Twilight. It was a different podcast, and they were like, uh, "She was like the theater I was in." Uh, somebody came in before the movie started and said, just so you know, there's like an after the credit scene. So if you want to see it, don't leave. And then some old lady just went, thank you so much for telling us. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. Nice manners. It's called manners. That is it for this round, folks. Oh, they're going to say, there's Um, an after credit scene and it is this. Fuck off. We're still going. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That would be amazing. You fucking piece of shit. Well, that screwed over uh, Logan. Um, when my uh, sister and brother-in-law went to see it, they changed because they had a teaser trailer for Deadpool at the end of the movie, and then they randomly changed it and put it at the beginning of the movie. Right. And what happened was they didn't change the timers for their lights. I may have told this. Oh story yeah, the, so the what lights came is, on just, at the end of the just movie as he's like a th- branched through and having the most like emotional part all the lights came on and they went and it's like after <laughs> and it was like because they went to like the midnight uh-huh. show and so it was so late and basically people stormed the, the manager and he's like uh ah, passes because he was basically like i'm not going to do anything and they do. were like no you give him free passes you gotta, free passes. You, gotta yeah. you fucked up our movie experience give me some free fucking popcorn it's the simplest thing to do too like it yeah, costs it, cost it costs you nothing well most times you're giving away empty seats because it's not like like hardly any movies sell out except like their first couple days yeah. if they're blockbusters. Yeah. So the rest of the time you're like, oh yeah, go see this movie. And it's like, oh, I'm giving away free seats. I love when I go see a movie and there's nobody in the theater. Oh, it's Love it's it. Do you remember the, the last movie? It was Us and there was nobody in the theater. I was just telling this story the other day. No, yesterday, in fact. What movie was that? It was... It wasn't Speed. No, it wasn't Speed. No, because you got you went and saw Speed and you had to go again. Cause that's right. Show. That's right. But the um, it's gonna be it's a terrible one. What is it? I can't remember. Meet Wally Sparks. Oh, what a great movie! Four of us went to see the movie, and we went in, and the theater was empty, and we were all sitting together. And then it was like a minute before the movie started, and we just decided we separated, and we all sat in like different <laughs> oh, areas of right. the theater, and yeah, we just yeah. yelled our quips at each other. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Okay, so our next movie. <coughs> if we make it. If we make it. I've, uh, if I don't die before then. Our next movie is Iron Man 3. Oh, gross. We're going to watch it because that's what we're <laughs> way, way to sell that next episode. I know, um, right? <laughs> 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 12 more, 13. Lucky number 13. Um, and then... Uh, and then Infinity War. Yeah, no, and then uh, we'll have an episode about um, Captain Marvel, however we decide to Sweet. put that. I think we'll probably just throw that up on YouTube, and then like we won't like try and fill another episode right. space because we're already kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah, come on with that. Um, so anyways, check out next week. We're doing Iron Man 3. Uh, check us out on uh, MiscastCommentary.com. Email us, podcast at MiscastCommentary.com. Uh, find us on Twitter at Miscast Podcast. I'm at JK Finley. Todd's at Miscast Todd. Uh, do all those things. Do the follows. Make sure you're liking and subscribing and all those kinds of things. You will help us. Buy get the T-shirt. Seen. Buy those T-shirts if you're enjoying them on T Press. Uh, Even if you don't enjoy them, buy them. Com. Uh, yeah, go go on any of our uh, any of our like our website or our Twitter. Uh, like our Twitter bio, you can uh, catch the link to check out our shirts. At the very least, go look at them. We've actually, our uh, Happy Life Day has sold pretty well. I'm Sweet. Pretty happy about that. That's an awesome um, shirt. I'm, I can't wait to wear mine. I got grease on it, and I've tried it. You to, greasy bastard. I know. Like, uh, my, my fryer, like, spit on me, and I got a big uh, chunk of grease hey, on nice my Hey, nice shirt. So it's currently soaking in Dawn. Nice. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It all saved all those poor ducks. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, it should be fine. All right, guys. We are. It is one o'clock in the morning. Woo! It's time. It's time for one of us to go to bed and the other of us to start wrapping Christmas presents <laughs> until four o'clock in the morning. And then I got to get up early because my daughter's getting a uh, student of the month award. Oh, so sweet! I'm going to, check, I'm going to her hey, assembly congrats. tomorrow. Thank you. That's all me, baby. Yeah, Parent gets all the credit right, unless should. they're in trouble, and that's society's problem. And then it's the but, wife's fault. Oh Jesus Christ! She's gonna. That's, that's where those bruises come. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. Iron Man three. We're gonna. Uh, finish off the not the whole Tony Stark story, but the Tony Stark story. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media production. Take pictures of your dick and show me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Your vagina's too, I'm guys. Always, I'm into whatever. I'm always in the barrel. That's my superpower. Yeah. <laughs> Was A Quiet Place inspired by signs it comes at night in War for the Planet of the Apes? Was Ready Player One influenced by Avatar, Wreck-It Ralph, and The Last Starfighter? Is the Hurricane Heist more influenced by Sharknado or Geostorm? These are the kinds of questions my guest co-hosts and I discuss on my podcast, Piecing It Together. Every week, we look at a new movie and try to figure out what other movies inspired it, whether it's the story, the character development, tone, or even use of music. Every movie was influenced by something that came before, and we want to figure out what. Check out Piecing It Together on your favorite podcast app or check us out on piecingpod.com. You can also follow us on social media at piecingpod. Piecing It Together is a part of the All Points West Podcast Network.